we gonna pick it up at verse one. Exodus chapter 20 and verse one. When you get there, my brother, go right ahead. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me, and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold them guiltless that take his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea and all that in the midst, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor. Praise the Lord. All right, brothers and sisters, if you would, turn your books to Ecclesiastes chapter 12, and we're going to pick it up at verse 13 when we get there. Ecclesiastes chapter 12. And we're going to pick it up at verse 13, 13 and 14. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. Thanks. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Yes, sir. Let that last verse scare you, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Next, let's go to Revelation chapter 22. And we're going to pick it up at verse 14 and 15 when we get there. Revelation chapter 22, and we're going to pick it up at verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth, and make it the lie. Yes, sir. There it is, brothers and sisters. The keys to eternal life, keeping that law. Amen? Amen. 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 So, brothers and sisters, again, happy Sabbath to y'all. And we're going to go ahead and get into today's lesson. You know, I see a lot of people, the churches are growing, praise the Lord. We're having an understanding of the word of God. Even when we start the lesson off, we start the lesson off of what? The law. To remind us of what we need to do to gain eternal life. But you know something I'm noticing, brothers and sisters? We learning the word of God, but we not using the word of God. This is why I say that. We learn these things, but I still see Israel stressing. I'm talking about us that know the law, us that know these things. We still stressing. We still worried about bills and things of this nature. We still fear what go on in our neighborhood, fear what we, go, what we see on the news, what's in the world. We still have all these problems, all these anxieties, all these fears, all these stress levels that we should not have. That was the whole purpose of the finding our knowledge of this so we could be comforted. Right. Not for us just to, all right, just know where things are in the book. You're supposed to use this for your mindset, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And that's what this lesson hopefully is going to remind us to do today is to use this word of God for ourselves. It baffles me that we have these lessons, sun go down, people call me, well, Brother D-Bear, I'm still worried about this. I got this going on in my house. I got this going on. I'm worried about this. I just saw this. I just saw that. And we just still just got all this anxiety and all this fear on us that we should not have, brothers and sisters. So hopefully with this lesson today, we'll get our minds where we need to be 
and realize it's an awesome thing to know the true and living God, brothers and sisters. Don't y'all know what we know the world does not know? Don't you know that he was the one that gave it to you? You didn't discover this on your own. You were plucked. So that lets us know that God has a bigger plan and a bigger purpose for all of us. So why are we worried when God has already let you know personally what his plan is for you? He has already did this personally to each and every one of us. And for some reason, we lose sight of that and we worry about bills when we see them, right. things going on at the house, things going on in the news. Have you forgot what God promised you? Because if you always kept your mind on that, nothing going on would bother you. I gave an example in the lesson last night. I said, if somebody said, hey, I'm going out of town, and when I come back, I'm going to give you $10,000, you'd be happy all week. <laughs> I can't wait till that brother get home. He got $10,000 he going to give me. Soon you hear his car, you're like, there you go. Because yeah. he promised you something. The crazy thing is the Lord promised us something too, but way. we don't look forward to that. That way. We still worrying, we still stressing, we still, but wait a minute, God promised you something. Why you ain't looking forward to that? Why that don't excite you like the brother that told you he going to come back with the 10 G's? Because he can lie. We don't believe, bro. God can't lie to you. God promised you something, it's coming to you. So why are we all worried about what's going on? We're going to get some control of that today, amen? Amen. The title is, brothers and sisters, let your heart be not troubled. Because if we have a knowledge of the true and living God, nothing should bother you. And that's real talk. Amen. Nothing should bother you. We're going to pick this up in Philippians, the fourth chapter. Show of hands of everybody in here who has sinned before. <laughs> I go first. Now, I want, I want to put y'all in a mindset. The wages of sin is what? Yeah. All of us are supposed to be dead men and sisters walking. Mm -hmm. So it's safe to say none of us are here unless we're here according to his mercy, correct? Yeah. Boy, if that ain't something to be happy about right out the gate, I don't know what is. Right. But let's look at some Philippians chapter 4, and we're going to pick it up at verse 4. Philippians chapter 4, and we're going to pick it up at verse 4. And y'all know what I always like to say. This is a feast, so we finna get full, y'all. Yes, we're going to start off with a few appetizers, <laughs> and then we're going to bust out the main course. <laughs> but Philippians 4 and verse 4. When you get there, my brother, start feeding us. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. Always. Always, brothers and sisters. That's why I asked the question. We were all dead men and sisters walking, and he showed us mercy. That ain't something to be happy about. It is. Every, every, uh, every prisoner that's been on death row that's sitting in that lecture chair, he waiting on that call to ring from the governor. And if he get that call, praise the Lord, they ain't finna fry me. Yeah. We were all in that chair, brothers and sisters, every last one of us, and we got a call from the governor. Right. Rejoice, always. Mm -hmm. There was an alternative for us. Key read, brother. Five. Let your moderation be known unto all men. Yes, sir. The Lord is at hand. Make it known that our God is coming. Mm -hmm. Cause we know He coming. That's Make right. it known, brothers and sisters. But keep reading, brother. Be careful for nothing. Be careful for nothing. Do y'all know what that means? Cause we live a life careful. Should I do this? Should I not do this? Is this okay? Is this not okay? I don't know if I should do this. I don't know if I should say this. Nervous, nervous, nervous. Right. You ain't got to be that. If your faith is in your God, you don't have to be that, brothers and sisters. That's a fact. Be careful in nothing, but go ahead. But in everything by prayer and supplication. That's your formula right there. We, we ain't careful servants. We are servants to go to our God first, then we move throughout the day. Lord, let me have a blessed day at work. Mm -hmm. Lord, watch over my house. Lord, look over these bills. Lord, keep my neighborhood straight. That's how we roll. Right. We ain't, should I go outside? Are they shooting? Should I go to work? Are they talking about me? So that ain't us, or it shouldn't be. Not supposed to be. 
Keep reading, brother. But in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Let your request be made known unto who? Unto God. See, this is what we got to start doing, brothers and sisters. We have to seriously, because a lot of us, including your brother, wake up some mornings without God even on his mind. That is a fact. We get up, we go to what work, and we do about? our regular routine, and we won't even praise the Lord, thank the Lord, say our prayers or nothing. We just go through days like we control the day. Facts. And that we can't be that. Uh -huh. Because that's why things are going on in us and catch us slipping. We didn't even bring the God and our Lord into our day. Like we can just, we can direct our day and have it play out the way we want to. We don't have that power. We don't. Go ahead, brother. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, uh -huh. shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. See, if we just put the Lord first and all our thinking, we'll have a peace of mind that we don't normally have. We won't have to worry about stressing. We won't have to worry about worrying. You don't have to worry about being afraid if you just put God first. Mm -hmm. that's, our, that's what the peace of God is. God left us peace, brothers and sisters. His word is comfort to us if we use it. We can't go through our lives thinking that God is the last resort. Always put him up front. Mm -hmm. That's why they say with prayer and supplication, make your request be known to God. Rejoice always because these are the things you do to keep God first. Right up here. Mm -hmm. That's where he got to be. Let's go to Proverbs, the third chapter. No, eight. No, I'm on eight. All right. Let's go to Proverbs, chapter three, brothers and sisters. Proverbs chapter 3, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Because, you know, and I'm, just, and I'm just learning this. There are certain things in life that we at one time thought we didn't need God for. You know, most of us brothers, hey, you go through certain buying and stuff at home, you will figure out what you need to do. Won't even bring the Lord in it. All right, I need to pick up another job. Maybe I need to go do this. Maybe I need to go do that. And we operate, we call that operating like a man, but we ain't operating like a man if you don't put God first. We always got to do that, brothers and sisters, always. Proverbs 3rd chapter and verse 1, what does it read, my brother? My son, forget not my law, uh -huh. but let thine heart keep my commandments. And all heart means is your mind, brothers and, sisters. brothers and sisters. Let your mind keep the commandments. Let it stay up here. Go ahead. For length of days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. Shall they they going to add peace to you? That's right. Knowing God's law will add peace to you? Yes, it will, brothers and sisters. Hey, we are keeping the law. We are. I hope everybody in here is a law keeper or we striving to be mm -hmm. because there's a promise behind keeping the law. So it should be peace behind that. If you know you're not willfully sinning, you should feel good. There's a promise laid up for you. Keep going, brother. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Uh-huh. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of thine heart. Write them upon the table of thy heart. Keep them close, brothers and mm -hmm. sisters. Don't make the Bible the only time you open it up is when class starts. Mm. That's not good for you. Keep going, brother. Skip down to verse 5, and what does it read? Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, uh -huh. and lean not unto thine own understanding. See, that's what we got to learn to do. Lean not on our own understanding, because we always think how we can fix things, what we need to do, how we need to operate, when all we need to do is trust the way the Lord had it laid out. That's right. I hear people say all the time, yeah, I trust the Lord, but I'm going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to trust the Lord, but I'm going to try this. Then you're not trusting. You're not trusting. If you gave Jesus a steering wheel, that means your hands come off of it. That's right. So trust is something meaning I trust you. I'm not going to do nothing. I'm going to wait to see what you going to do. Mm -hmm. That's what trusting God is. People use that word, but do we really trust the Lord? Yeah, I know I got to have faith, but then there's no faith. Right. Yeah, I know the Lord can provide, but then you don't believe. That's right. It's just that plain and simple. Either he can make it happen for you, or you don't believe he can make it happen for you. It's just one of the two. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, my brother. Six. 
in all thy ways acknowledge him. Hey, it just said that to us in that Philippians about rejoicing in the Lord our way. In all your ways acknowledge him. Everything you do throughout your day should have the Lord in front of it. Or, something, or, or we should do something else, and we about to read it. Go ahead, though, brother. And he shall direct thy path. And he shall direct thy path. If you just put God first in every step you want to do, he'll make sure it happen for you. Now, let's find this out. Let's find out how to do this, because a lot of us don't know how to acknowledge the Lord in all our paths and all our steps. And the crazy thing about it, we used to see our grandmothers do it back in the day. And we finna read this. Let's go to James, the fourth chapter. This used to annoy me back in the day. Like, why she always got to say the Lord's will? Just do it, <laughs> Grandma. But now it makes all the sense in the world now. James, the fourth chapter, brothers and sisters, we're going to pick it up at verse 13. How many of us done got up, planned a day, planned a trip, all looking all forward to it, and it just get wrecked? Oh, man, there's nothing I, go, nothing I plan go as planned. You shouldn't have planned it. Right. You did it. You messed it yourself up, <laughs> thinking you got control of days and stuff. We do it all the time. We plan for trips yeah. and everything. Yeah. And the minute they go wrong, we, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> you didn't put him first. That's what happened. That's right. <laughs> James, the fourth chapter, and we're going to pick it up at verse 13. What does it read, my brother? Go to now. Ye that say, today or tomorrow, we will go into such a city and continue there a year. Uh-huh. And buy and sell and get gain. And we all do this. We plan stuff out. Some of us got five-year plans, 10-year plans, 15-year plans. We do this. Yeah, we finna move, baby. We're going to move to Jackson, Mississippi. I'm going to get this job. We're going to make this kind of money. We're going to do this, and you're going to do this. Yeah, it's going to work out. Dap each other up. We got a good plan. But you messed up. Go ahead, brother. Keep reading. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. And you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Tomorrow is invisible to all of us. Mm -hmm. All of us. Mm -hmm. Can none of us see tomorrow? Go ahead. For what is your life? Uh-huh. It is even a vapor that appeared for a little time and then vanishes away. That's all of us. I heard somebody say something yesterday. It was so cold. They said, everybody that died today had plans tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, you ain't lying. And we do that. A lot of us already got things scheduled for next week, and you could die tonight. Mm -hmm. So with that being, we should be afraid of that or even that kind of thinking because we're doing things without putting him first. Mm -hmm. What the next verse say, brother? For that ye ought to say. For what we ought to do is. If the Lord will. Uh-huh. We shall live. Go ahead. And do this or that. That's how it's supposed to be. Everything you want to plan to do, you better add if it's the Lord's will. That's right. Because it might not be his plan for that day. It may not be his plan for them five years. It may not be his plan for the 15 years. Everything you do, brother and sister, you better put it if it's the Lord's will. Mm -hmm. We're going to Jackson if it's the Lord's will. We're going back to Memphis if it's the Lord's will. Lord will. <laughs> Everything you do, you going to work, Brother Bobby, if it's the Lord's will. Because we don't know. We got to put him on the forefront, brothers and sisters, and that's important for us. Imagine, when, you put, when you put things in that perspective, you stop thinking about yourself. Then when things don't go right, what do you say? Well, I guess it wasn't his will. There you go. You're not mad no more no. because you put him first and you understand now why it didn't happen. Yeah. It wasn't his will. You ain't mad. You ain't screaming. You ain't nothing. You, you patiently sit down. Okay, Lord, what you want me to do? And that's how we got to be, brothers and sisters. We are servants of the Most High. Every step we do, he directs now. Mm -hmm. You finished that, bro? 16. Go ahead. But now you rejoice in your boasting. Uh-huh. We get all happy when we plan this up. Yeah, boy, I can't <laughs> wait till tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. All such rejoicing is evil. All such rejoicing is evil? But we do this on a regular, y'all. Mm -hmm. We do this on a regular, not realizing the danger of doing this. Because we have threw him to the side. We have told the Lord, you ain't got nothing to do with this. I'm finna set this day. And that's a dangerous thing to do. Let's go to Proverbs, the ninth chapter. Here's here why I say that.
we have got to realize, brothers and sisters, that he is not our last resort. He is our first step. <laughs> He's our first step. We have learned to use Jesus only when all other options have failed. And that should not be. Why not just go straight to him and let him direct the whole? Imagine what the Lord can do if we put him on the front of every day. Consider him first. Pray to him first. Ask the Lord's will first. Imagine how our days will play out. He's not a vain God. He cares for us. So what's the worst that could happen to our day if we put God in front of it? He loves us more than anybody ever has. So I don't think he's going to sit here and just have the, us have the worst day ever unless it's for a good reason. I need to show you something. I need to whoop you for something. Let's keep going, brother. So Proverbs, the ninth chapter, let's pick it up. Let's read one verse, verse 11. Because why is such boasting evil for us to plan days? Proverbs 9 and 11, what does it read, brother? For by me thy days shall be multiplied. Uh -huh, by, by him our days are multiplied. Go ahead, brother. And the years of thy life shall be increased. Uh -huh. Everything in our life goes through him. Whether we live or we die, it's according to him. Mm -hmm. Whether you have a good day or a bad day, it's according to him. It's all on his watch, not ours, brothers and sisters. So we shouldn't even think that way. Let all, let all our speech be, let it be the Lord's will. That's where it's supposed to be. Because that's where it's supposed to be, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. And us thinking that is messing us up. It's messing us up because it's not putting God where he needs to be. Look at all the thoughts you do when you plan your own day. You imagine it, yeah, I can see this. Yeah, that's going to play out. Oh, man, that's going to be so much money. You do all that. You can see it happen. But where the Lord at in them thoughts? <laughs> you can see it happen. But where the Lord at in them thoughts? Nowhere. Nowhere. Let's look at something. Let's go to 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter. Because he's nowhere in them thoughts, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so important for us to put him first, brothers and sisters. It's little things we do that we don't realize is damaging to us sometimes. And one key thing that Israel has always done is not acknowledge their God. Especially when things are going good for us. Don't talk about it. <laughs> Especially when things are going good for us. Mm -hmm. Second Corinthians, the 10th chapter, and we're going to read one verse, verse 5. Because if we understand that the Lord is in control of our days, then why do we plan a day? Or why do you allow your mind to even go there? What do that ver verse 5 say, my brother? 2 Corinthians 10 and 5, what does it say? Casting down imagination. Uh-huh. And every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God. Uh-huh, against the knowledge of God. So mm -hmm. if by God our days are lengthened, then why am I thinking about a day? Mm. I shouldn't. Because now I have allowed my imagination to go past my knowledge of God. I don't think about God setting my day. I'm planning the day now. Now we're messing up. Go ahead, brother. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And see, that's what we got to learn to do. We got to learn to check our thoughts at the door. No, I don't even need to think that. That's the lowest wheel. Why, why am I even thinking about tomorrow? That's right. You got to do that to yourself. Why am I even stressing about them bills? Them bills ain't even got here yet. The Lord got. You got to do that to yourself, brothers and sisters, or you will lose it. Yeah. You will lose it. You have to tell that to yourself. Why am I worried about them grandbabies? The Lord got them. You got to do that. Otherwise, you will lose your mind because that's your imagination. Go, right. The Lord said he'll never leave you or forsake you. So why do you feel alone sometimes? See, you got to cast those thoughts out because all that is an imagination. God has promised us things that sometimes our mind will, will knock it down. Ain't nobody with you. Don't nobody care about you. That's Ain't right. nobody there for you. That's right, bro. And you will roll with that and forgot everything God has told you. Jesus. You got to cast that down, brothers and sisters. We are our own worst enemy all the time. Every time. All the time. Because we make a choice to let our mind go where it go. I want to be worried about them bills. I want to be worried about my marriage. I want to be worried about work. I make a choice to do that. Because God has told me he with me as long as I'm with him. So as long as I focus on being with him, I shouldn't have no problems. He said put all my cares on him for he, he cares care for me. me. Right. So that means all my problems I'm supposed to dump on him. 
which means I ain't got no problems. I gave them to Jesus, which means I have no problem. But we got to put ourselves in that mindset, brothers and sisters. You have to tell your uh-uh mind, shut up. Lord got it. We like to tell each other, don't worry about it, Jay. The Lord going to take care of you. That's Do you right. tell yourself that, though? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <sighs> Deep breath, Lord got it. Shut up. All right, let me shut up. Mm -hmm. You got to see Psalms and Hams is what the book say. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you got to do that to keep your mind focused on your God, brothers and sisters. We're going to actually read today where they did that to keep their mind focused. But let's keep going, shall we? Let's keep going. Let's go to Matthew, the sixth chapter. Stress is something we don't have to have. We choose to pick that up. We choose that. My God. Who knew that having a stressful thought could be damaging to you even physically? Mm -hmm. Go to the doctor. Your cholesterol up. You're stressing. This yeah. going on with you. You're stressing. Ulcers. All that come from the mind. Ulcers. You're stressing. <laughs> All that heart problems. You're stressing. And all stress comes from is right here, thinking, mm -hmm. thinking, 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 thinking. Who knew thinking was damaging to us? But the Lord had it written. My people seek a way that is not good after their own thoughts. thoughts. So us thinking ain't good for us. The Lord had everything laid out. If you just trust in what I got laid out for you, you ain't got to think. We got one of them parents. Don't even think, son. Just listen to me. That's our father. So let's look at something. Matthew 6, and we're going to pick it up at verse 25. Matthew 6 and verse 25. What does it read, my brother? Therefore, I say unto you. Who said this? Jesus, Lord. did he not? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Take no thought for your life, mm -hmm. what ye shall eat, or what you shall drink. Hey, these are not suggestions he's giving us mm -hmm. either. This is... We need to learn to follow this. This is a scripture we read often, yeah. but we still put thought in this. Right. Jay, what we eating later on? We ask these questions. Yeah. What we eating tomorrow? <laughs> we ask these questions. But the Lord said, take no thought. Go ahead. Nor yet for your body what ye shall put on uh -huh. is not the life more than meat or the, and the body than raiment. Go ahead, brother. Behold. The fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Who feed them? Your heavenly Father. Go ahead. Are ye not much better than they? Hey, ask yourself that question, because we lose sight of this often. The Lord feed the birds, and we are better than the birds, y'all. Israel, you are his firstborn, his chosen. Make you way better than the birds. Mm -hmm. So why do we put thought in where my meal going to come from? Where this going to come from? How am I going to do this? Like your father don't feed you. Right. He, fe he letting you know them birds is less of value than you. But you still wondering where your meal's coming from. Go ahead, brother. Which of you, by taking thought, can add one cubit unto his stature? None of us. And why take ye thought for rain? He said, why are you thinking about your clothes? Israel, we know we do that. Mm -hmm. I'll be all on Amazon. Ooh, put that in the cart. Yeah. Put that in the cart. Ooh, put that in the cart. Go ahead. Consider the lilies of the field. Uh-huh. How they grow. Yes, sir. They toil not, neither do they spin. Uh-huh. Have y'all ever seen the lilies of the field? I had to Google this because I was like, Lord, what you talking about? Mm -hmm. And he showed how the Lord had lilies laid out in the pastor, y'all. He might have a row of white lilies. Then it'd be a row of purple lilies. Then yellow. Ain't nobody planted them like this but the Lord. Man, arrayed with different colors. Beautiful. Google it, y'all. I'm like, wow. Go ahead, brother. And yet I say unto you uh -huh. that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like one of these. So the Lord say, hey, Solomon in his glory wasn't as fresh as I laid these lilies out. Right. You know what the Lord is showing us right here? Why well, he said, why you take thought in raiment? Like, he ain't got no style. <laughs> like, he don't know how to dress you. <laughs> like, the Lord going to have you with broken down sandals and camel hair, and we just going to be walking. You think the Lord wants you like that? Did you see how the Lord had us leave Egypt? We was draped in gold. Right. Our Lord no fashion, y'all. Where you think man got it from? Right. 
So he was like, why y'all even think about clothes like I'm going to mess up your wardrobe? Right. <laughs> we don't have to think about nothing. The Lord will have you straight regardless, brothers and That's sisters. Right, bro. We be worried about school coming around. What we going to do for the baby school clothes? How we going to do this? I got to make sure my son had these shoes so don't nobody talk about them. I got to make sure he had this backpack. I got to do this. Why? You don't have to. You make a choice to. Right. Your God got it. Your God know how to dress your babies too. We go through links and bounds to try to make things easy and pleasant for us except for going his route and just trusting him to do it. Go ahead, brother. Wherefore, if God so clothed the grass of the field, which today is, uh -huh. and tomorrow is cast into the oven. Go ahead. Shall he not much more clothe Shall him? he much more clothe? That means he's going to give us more. Mm -hmm. He's going to dress us better. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, ye of little faith. And that's the problem. That's where it is. And that's where it's always been with us, brothers and sisters. The gospel always been preached. But it wouldn't mix with faith. Right. Nobody believes this. We read this, we're like, man, the Lord ain't finna put no food in the refrigerator. I gotta go get that food. Mm. Man, the Lord ain't finna put no clothes on my baby. I gotta go buy them clothes. And that's not the case. We got to believe that he ain't talking in parables. Right. He ain't speaking cliches, brothers and sisters. He's speaking facts. Why do y'all think about that? Did you not see what I did with your forefathers when they were slaves mm. and how they left Egypt? Why are you even questioning me? Why do you even doubt me? Everything he done showed us. We had one instruction, keep the commandments. We ain't got to worry about nothing else. Keep the commandments. They said other nations were going to see us, brothers and sisters, and say, man, this is a wise and understanding people to have God so nigh to them that they call, everything they call on him for, he answered. Mm -hmm. All we had to do was keep the law and ask God for stuff. Lord, give me some more of them grapes. Lord, give me a bigger house. Lord, bless my babies. That's all we had to do. Keep the law and ask your request. That's written that way, brothers and sisters. It's written that way. Why do we still doubt that? And we got a knowledge of this thing. Where we at, bro? 31. Go ahead. Skip there down to 31. What does it read? Therefore, take no thought, saying. And he's telling us not to do this. Thought is to think it, is it not? Mm -hmm. That ain't to talk it. That's to think it. That's right. You got to, uh-uh, let me not think about that. That's right, brother. Uh-uh, let me not worry about them clothes. Mm -hmm. Let me not worry about that food. You better do that to yourself. Your God told you, take no thought. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. What shall we eat? Uh-huh. Or what shall we drink? Go ahead. Or wherewithal shall we be clothed? Uh-huh. For after all these things do the Gentiles Hey, the Gentiles think like this. That's right. Go ahead. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. But do we know it? Did, did we, do we not realize that God know how to take care of children too? Because we his children. Do we not realize the Lord don't want us to starve? The Lord don't want us naked and destitute? Mm -hmm. He's been showing us this. Right. Go ahead, brother. But seek ye first the kingdom of God uh -huh. and his righteousness. Uh, and his righteousness through his word. Go ahead. And all these things shall be added unto so you. So the food, the raiment, everything going to be added to you if you just keep your mind focused on what it needs to be. Right. Seeking the kingdom and God's righteousness, right. his word. It's just that simple. <coughs> Man ain't tried it. It's so simple yet. Mm -hmm. Through generation, through generation. You mean all I tell you, all I got to do is serve the Lord and keep his law and I ain't got to worry about nothing else. That's it. That is it. Try it. A lot of us have not tried it yet to just strictly just depend on God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to serve God and strictly just depend on him. We need to learn that, brothers and sisters, because he ain't man. And I've never seen anybody that trusted in God be forsaken in this book. I never have. Y'all let me know if you find one, because you ain't. Nobody that's put their trust in God has been forsaken, brothers and sisters. Nobody. That's food for thought for us. Where we at, bro? 34. Go ahead. Take therefore no thought for the morrow. That's right. For the morrow shall take thought of the things of itself. It's going to manifest itself. Mm -hmm. However tomorrow play out is how it's going to play out. Mm -hmm. So ain't no sense in us thinking about tomorrow. Go ahead. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. We got enough problems today. Facts. So we ain't got to worry about what's going on tomorrow. Tomorrow is invisible to us, brothers and sisters. You can't see it. You don't know what's coming. Let's focus on right now. Right now, brothers and sisters. Let's keep going. Let's go to Colossians, the first chapter. 
we about to get into the meat of this thing. We're going to Colossians, the first chapter. We're going to pick it up at verse 15. And y'all know it's hot in here. <laughs> bust, the, bust the house that's hot in here. <laughs> Colossians 1 and verse 15. We got to really see our God for who he is, brothers and sisters. We have an awesome God that Man. reveals himself every day to us. Yes, sir. Every day. We just ain't looking. We look the other way sometimes. Jesus be right in our face. Oh, I got it, Lord. Let me figure it out on my own. Colossians 1 and verse 15. What does it read, my brother? Who is the image of the invisible God, uh -huh. the firstborn of every creature. The firstborn of every creature. Go ahead. For by him were all things created uh -huh. that are in heaven and that are in the earth. Go ahead. Visible and invisible. The things we can see and the things we can't see. Mm -hmm. Like tomorrow, for instance. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, uh -huh. all things were created by him and for him. And for him. Even a bad day was created for the Lord. Facts. Even a good day is created for him. We just going on the ride, brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. And he is before all things. Uh huh. And by him all things consist. All things consist or come to being through the Lord. I know sometimes things go on and we first thing we say is, why is this happening? You should know it consisted from him. Mm -hmm. It came from him. We should never ask the question, what's going on or why is this happening? We, when we have a God, we can get inquire these things to. We, we get to know. We get to find out. Okay, he's doing this for chasing it. Okay, he's doing this to show something. You can find out anything you need to know from your God if we just communicate with him. Right. Thing go on, we try to figure out how to fix them. Instead of humbling ourselves, sit down and inquiring the mind of the Lord. It's just that simple. Simple steps we should do that we overlooking. Go ahead, brother. And he is the head of the body, uh -huh. the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead. Go ahead. That in all things he might have the preeminence. In all things he might have the preeminence. That means he dominates it. He's in control of it all, brothers and sisters. Look at everything in your life as God is in control of it. You will inquire him more if you do that. You will consider him more. If your car break down, take it personal. Jesus just pulled my, told my engine out my car. Just so you will ask Jesus why it happened. If a tree fall on your house, take it personal. Jesus dropped a tree on my house. Real, so you can find out why. That's real, if somebody die in your family, take it personal. So you can find out why, brothers and sisters. He tell you it's better to go into the house of mourning, because in that you will consider. That's right, bro. Put him in front of everything, everything in your life. If you bust your toe on the coffee table tonight, take it personal. <laughs> Lord, why you had it happen to me? <laughs> take it personal. Just so you will inquire of him, brothers and sisters, yeah. and not try to figure things out on your own. Yes, sir. Where we at, bro? 23. Go ahead. If you continue in the Skip faith, down to 23. Yeah. Go ahead. If you continue in the faith, uh -huh. grounded and settled. Grounded and settled. You know what that means? That means you believe God regardless of what happens. Mm -hmm. Regardless. Go ahead. And be not moved away from the hope of the gospel. Uh-huh. And that's a lot of times what happens. Yes, it is. The minute something happens and rocks us, we can't serve the Lord no more. Mm -hmm. I got to do this now. Mm -hmm. I got to do me now. I got to take my own options now. You got to be rude and grounded that regardless of what's going on in your life, you have hope in your God. Go ahead, brother. Which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven, uh -huh. whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. Yes, sir. Now, let's check this out. Let's go to Hebrews, the 11th chapter, brothers and sisters. Because a lot of times we come to the Lord, we ask the Lord for things, and we just be doubting in our minds if he going to do it. I don't know if the Lord can do that. I don't know if the request I'm asking is something. I don't know this. I don't know that. Just with all kind of doubt when we go to the Lord. All kind of worry and concern. Shouldn't be. Hebrews 11, and we're going to read one verse, verse 6. 
because it's important for us to stay rooted and grounded in his faith, brothers and sisters. Because if you don't believe God, you ain't going to use your God. You're not going to pray to him. You're not going to seek him out or none of that. All you're going to do is come to class and learn some word and go home. That's all we're going to do. This thing is literally for our life, even now. I tell people all the time, this ain't just to use to beat up the head of a Sunday Christian and your mind messed up. You should have used it on yourself first. Then you could have clearly helped that Sunday Christian. We go straight in attack mode and our minds are still full of madness right. and we ain't cleaning none of it. Right. Clean you first. Then you can very easily clean the next brother up. This ain't just a tool to beat up on heads right. and your head full of knots. It's a two-edged sword. Two-edged sword. Hebrews 11 and verse 6. What does it read, my brother? But without faith, it is impossible to please him. Uh-huh. If you don't believe God, you can't please God. That's right. Don't matter how much book you learn. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is. That's the first thing you got to do because we go to God a lot. But we go to God a lot of time. We got doubt. Mm -hmm. I don't know if he can do this or not. Don't come to him if you don't believe he can do it. You go to him when you know he going to do it. Mm -hmm. Don't even do it if you don't know. You got to know, brother, there's nothing impossible for the God that we serve. Keep in mind, none of us are here because we want it to be. He plucked us. Mm -hmm. I know I wasn't looking for IOG. I stumbled into IOG. It still amazes me how me and this brother met. Like, wow, I was not planning that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was not planning that. Go ahead. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Hey, do we really believe that? Do we really believe that? Everybody in here is a servant to somebody at their job. And you're a servant because you get paid. We thank God don't pay his servants. He said it's a reward to them that diligently seek him. If that's the case, then we should be in our books every single day. I should be praying every single day because there's a reward coming behind that. He ain't man that he should lie. Right. So why don't we diligently seek? Why are we only opening our books up on the Sabbath day when there's more reward for me if I just can keep him on my mind every day? What, what you said, brother, we all do. Because we take him for granted. God is our literally our everything, and we make him a part-timer. Lord, I'm going to use it for four hours today. The rest of the day, I got it. Then we wonder why when stuff go on, we just messed up, and we, what's going on? I can't figure out. Well, you only use them for four hours. Teach, bro. What you thought was going to happen when you put them to the side? The books say if you forsake him, he's going to forsake you. So I'm keeping the Lord. I'm rolling his word. I'm like, cool. I'm straight. I'm where I need to be. Put Jesus down. Now he done rocked you. <laughs> Why you put him down? That's been a big, big, big mishap for us. Just Ron wax fat and kick. The minute we straight, we feel like we don't need the Lord no more. Thanks, bro. I got it, Lord. The car running now. The bills paid now. Got clothes now. I'm straight. I don't need you. I'll holler at you when I'm sick. Mm -hmm. And we do that. When if we just diligently seek him, we will be rewarded constantly. The Lord even say, hey, before you even utter it out your mouth, it'll happen. I want that. Lord, give me a, here it go. I want that. Mm -hmm. But in order to get that, we got to put the work in, brothers and sisters. We have really got to dedicate our minds to the Lord. Where we at, bro? Let's go to St. John chapter 14. We can't come to the Lord with no doubt on us. Now let's look at something. Look at a strong message the Lord left us. For all us to get uncomfortable, anxiety, afraid, stressful. Look at something he left us. St. John 14, my brother, and we're going to pick it up at verse 15. 14 and verse 15. What does it read, my brother? If you love me, keep my commandments. Uh-huh. That's how you show God that you love him. Uh -huh. Can't nobody say no different because this is his love we're showing. He said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Mm -hmm. Can't just say I love Jesus. You got to keep the commandments. But it's something for doing that. 
if we love him, we keep his commandments. What's going to happen, brother? Keep reading. And I will pray the Father. Uh-huh. And he shall give you another comforter. Go ahead. That he may abide with you forever. So we keeping the commandments. The Lord is going to pray to the Father and send us a comforter. Mm -hmm. Everybody know what comfort is, don't they? Right. That's a relaxing feeling. That's without stress. That's without anxiety. That's without fear. Mm -hmm. That's without worry. That's comfort. You know, that's, the, that's what we do when we go on vacation. We're looking for some comfort. Right. I want to just sit on the beach and just lay out. Don't nobody bother me. Because <laughs> that's comfort. But the Lord said, if you keep my commandments, I will send you a comforter. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. 23. Skip down to 23, and what does it read? Jesus answered and said unto him, if a man love me, uh -huh. he will keep my words. That's it. He going to keep them words. Go ahead. And my father will love him. Uh huh. And we will come unto him. So you will have love from the son and the father just by keeping the commandments. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And make our abode with him. And they going to be with you. Right. They going to be with yes, you. Sir. Go ahead, brother. Skip down to 25, and what does it read? These things have I spoken unto you, uh -huh. being yet present with you. Go ahead. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, yes, sir. whom the Father will send in my name, uh -huh. he shall teach you all things. He shall teach you all things. Keep in mind, he's a comforter. Mm -hmm. He's a comforter. So it seems like as long as I keep the commandments, the Lord is always going to keep me comfortable. Right. Pay attention to this. Go ahead. And bring all things to your remembrance, uh, whatsoever I have said unto you. And he's going to bring it, what, every thought, so thing to your remembrance, whatsoever the Lord has said to you. So, example, let's say you get home, and, hey, you ain't got no food in the refrigerator. And you're like, oh, man, what am I going to do? But you a law keeper. That spirit going to come to you. I ain't never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Praise the Lord. We all right, child. If you trust in that, mm -hmm. that's how it works. You're going to remember the thing the Lord promised you just for the keeping the commandments, and that's supposed to be comforting to you. Right. If we keeping the commandments. Got to be right. That's what we need to look at. Maybe we need a wicked check. Bad. Because if we keep in the commandments, Bad. the Lord is promising us stuff, y'all. He's telling me I'm not going to be afraid. He's telling me I'm not going to have anxiety. He's telling me I'm not going to be stressed. He's telling me I'm going to be comfortable only for keeping the commandments. Mm -hmm. So if I'm not comfortable in life, I need to do a wicked check. That's a fact. Because this ain't a man, this ain't a lying man talking to me. This is truth talking to me. So if I'm not comfortable in life, I need to do a wicked check. Keep reading, brother. 27. Peace I leave he with you. He said he left us peace, mm -hmm. not stress, right. not worry, <laughs> not anxiety. He said I left you peace. Go ahead. My peace I give unto you. Gave to who? I give unto Each you. Each and every one of you. When the Lord plucked you out of that sinful mindset that you have and he gave you his word, he was giving you peace. All right. We shouldn't be stressing like we was before the law. Hey. We shouldn't be worried like we was before the law. Right. You shouldn't be afraid of everything going on in the neighborhood before the law. We got a different mindset now. We comfortable now because we're keeping the law. Mm -hmm. And we know what the Lord do for his obedient children. Mm -hmm. So if we worry, then do a wicked check because it ain't him. That's right, bro. It ain't him. Go ahead, brother. Not as the world give it. Not as the world give it. What peace do the world have? <laughs> give I unto you. Do y'all see the mindsets out here? Folks is losing their mind on a day-to-day -day basis. On little stuff. On little stuff. Go ahead, brother. Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. It should not be. You got a comforter. Neither let it be afraid. Neither let it be afraid. Because if you are keeping the, if you truly keeping the commandments, what are you worried about? For real. For real, what are you worried about? Mm -hmm. You have nothing to fear. You got the Father and the Son abiding with you. What truly got you afraid? Let's just address the elephant in the room. Maybe we ain't keeping the law the way we should. Maybe, Maybe we one foot in and one foot out. Because right. if we were all the way in, we would rejoice. Even in tribulation, you would rejoice. Because you know what's coming to you. Mm -hmm. Where we at, Jay? 28. Go ahead. Ye have heard how I said unto you, uh -huh. I go away and come again unto you. And he was talking to us mm -hmm. even then. Go ahead. If ye love me, ye will rejoice. You will rejoice. Why? Because I said I go unto the Father. Same way that brother was that told you he coming back with the 10 Gs. That's right. 
You know you keeping the law. Your God say, in my father's place is many mansions. I go and prepare a place for you. You're supposed to be looking forward to it. Ooh, I can't wait. Man, Jesus part of me. I ain't never been in a mansion before. And I got one coming. I can't afford one now. He got one coming for me. Right. Nothing should bother you. If you keeping the commandments, because your God promised you something. So you know, however it play out, it's just like it was with Abraham when he asked him to sacrifice Isaac. However it play out, yes, I know sir. the one I'm dealing with. Yes, sir. So whatever right, go bro. on in my life, I know the <laughs> promise is laid up for me. Yeah, yeah, bro. So whatever I got to go through, you got to keep your eyes on the prize, brothers and sisters, just like Abraham did. Right. Whatever go on in your life, remember the promise for you. Okay, Lord, you're going to have me go through this so I can get there? Cool, let me do that. Who else didn't promise any of y'all a mansion? <laughs> didn't think so. Read that again, brother, because that's, that's, that's comforting in that. Go ahead. Ye have heard how I said unto you, uh -huh. I go away and come again to you. Go ahead. If ye love me, ye will rejoice. Why? Because I said, I go unto the Father, uh -huh. for my Father is greater than I. Yes, sir. And that's beauty, brothers and sisters. Don't you know you have a representative in heaven interceding for you? Hmm. That's a joy to have. You have a spokesman in heaven even when you slip up. Uh-uh, Father. Uh-uh. That's my brother right Praise there. Give him Lord, some more man. time. Yes, that sir. should make you feel good. Everybody else ain't getting vouched for, y'all. We are. That's beauty in that. That's rejoice. You should be feeling good every time you think about the Lord. Again, we could be all dead brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters. All of us could. And you mean to tell me he's on the right hand of the Father interceding for me? Leave my car. And I know he is because I'm still here. Thanks. I know he is because I'm still here, and I know me. <laughs> <laughs> I know me. Y'all know you. So you know you got a representative in heaven speaking on your behalf. Mm -hmm. That's a good feeling, brothers it and is. sisters. You got the best public defender on God's green earth because it is God. The best public defender ever. Because yeah. you didn't pay for this lawyer. Right. He's just defending you. Yeah. <laughs> Those who have an ear, let them hear. Where we at, bro? Let's go to Job 22. It's a simple formula to the, for comfort, brothers and sisters. A simple formula to serve the Lord. Talking to a brother the other night, he was telling me he's trying to start this business. And he was like, well, brother, I'm trying to get these loans and trying to do this and trying to do that. I said, why you just don't ask the Lord for it? I said, well, you think he don't give money out? I just, I was saying, he was like, well, I ain't never think about that way. I said, we never do. <laughs> we never do. We think we got to go through man for everything. Like, oh, no, Lord ain't finna make till no 10 G's happen. He ain't finna. Why he ain't? We doubt. We put man up here and lower it down here. All the time. All the time. Job 22, brother, so we're going to pick it up at verse 21. Job 22, and we're going to pick it up at verse 21. What does it read, my brother? Equate now thyself with him. You know what equate mean? Get to know. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And be at peace. And be at peace just by getting to know God? Right. Yes. Go ahead. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Uh-huh. Just by getting to know your God, good will come to you. Look where we at. Look at the things he's done since we've been into the truth. The bonds, the friendships, things that are happening now that we didn't th know was possible. Around real brothers and sisters. Right. Got people that know the truth. I ain't, you, when you first walk into this thing, you think you'd be the only one sometime. So it would be good to see this. Go ahead, brother. Receive, I pray thee. The law from his mouth. Uh-huh. Take this. Mm -hmm. Take his word. Go ahead. And lay, and lay up his words in thine heart. And hold on to it, brothers and sisters. That's the importance of this. Don't just take a lesson, write it down, it was a great lesson, shut your book, and then this is over. Let these words, hey, go back and read this. Go back and read the book on your own. Keep this on you. Go ahead, brother. If thou return to the old, to the Almighty, uh -huh. thou shalt be built up. Just if you come back to him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacle. Uh -huh. See, a lot of us don't even know how to get some of our sins off us. 
Some of us have addictions and things of that nature. We're just like, man, Lord, get this up off of me. Get this up. All you got to do is acquaint yourself with God. Right. He know how to get stuff off of you. Mm -hmm. He know how to wash you. That's the thing we don't realize when it comes to our mindset. We feel like we got to fix us. You can't fix you. You can't. God got to fix you. Right. You got to ask God to give you a clean heart. You got to ask God to renew the right spirit in you. How many times you didn't try, to, okay, I'm going to focus on this, I'm going to focus on this. You're like, ooh, we. You get distracted. Because you can't do you. You can't fix you. You got to ask God to do that. Fix me, Lord. Clean me up. Remove iniquity from my mouth. Remove iniquity from my heart. We got to ask for that. We know we messed up, right. and a lot of us don't know the first step about cleaning yourself up. That's the first step. Go to your God. Ask him. The thing about it, brothers and sisters, he not wishing that none of us perish, so he going to clean you up if you ask him and you believe it. That's the beauty about our God. He don't want none of us destroyed. No way. He just want us to do what we got to do so we can be in the kingdom with him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. 24. Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust. Right, for, just because we return to the Almighty? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the gold of Ophir and stones of the brook. Uh-huh. Yeah, the Almighty shall be thy defense. The Almighty going to be my what? My defense. See, all this happened just when we start to turn to God. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And thou shalt have plenty of silver. Uh-huh. For then shalt shall, for then shall thou have thy delight in the Almighty. Uh-huh. And shall lift up thy face unto God. Uh-huh. If we just do these things, brother and sister, we'll start watching the Lord do things for us. And then you be like, then it feel good to serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. Feel good. I mean, one time me and this brother had a business going on. We went out of town. We didn't worry about nothing. We just kept our minds where it needed to be. And every, when I'm alive, every time we went out, the Lord was sending us money. I was like, man, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Because we kept our minds where it needed to be. Right. We weren't worried about it. What is this? Man, just, just, just go, Jay. Whatever happened, happened. The Lord got it. Let's take a trip. And the Lord took care of it. Took care of it. Well. Took care of the whole thing, brother. So he, do, he do his job when we do ours. Thanks. Every time, brothers and sisters, we just got to taste this. Try this. Experiment with your God when we. All right, Lord, I'm going to trust you. Watch what he do to you. He told you to try him. He tell you that's book. He tell you to try me. <laughs> that's the God we have. He's so awesome that he wants you to try it. What's the worst that can happen? You be blessed? Wow. <laughs> I have people that all the time. What's the worst thing that can happen to you if you fully commit to God? Really? Because I read brothers that did this, and it don't look like they had no bad lives to me. Right. So I'm like, what's our problem? These are our examples. Right. Go ahead, brother. 27. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, uh -huh. and he shall hear thee. Don't we want that? Yes, sir. Because we pray with doubt, don't we? I don't even know if the Lord heard me. <laughs> I don't know if he's still mad at me for what I did last month. I don't know if he's getting me for what I did yesterday. I, we, we don't know nothing when we go to the Lord, just doubting. With all we did, if we kept the law and we just walked there and in, you knew the Lord would hear you. I didn't hear brothers in the Bible beseech the Lord. Mm -hmm. Like, Listen. That's what beseech me, and I need you to hear me. And the Lord heard them. Yes, sir. You got to keep the law to talk to the Lord that's, like that. That's, that's a right. wicked man can't do that. That way. Even Abraham talked, is that not for the judge of all the earth to do right? Mm -hmm. <gasps> the audacity of Abraham. Mm -hmm. No, nah, he was a righteous man. That's you right. can talk to your father when you're righteous. That's right, brother. Hey, Moses talked to him. Mm -hmm. We got to get there, brothers and sisters. There's an access for us if we just keep the law. Who don't want their prayers answered? There ain't a person in here that don't want their prayers answered. That's why we pray, so we can get an answer. Right. But the Lord is letting you know, us know, acquaint ourselves with him, turn from our transgressions, serve me, and when you talk to me, I will listen. Go ahead, brother. And he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vow. Yes, sir. He Th gonna hear us. Go ahead. Thou shalt also decree a thing. You're going to plan something. And it shall be established unto thee. And it's going to happen for you. And the light shall shine upon thy way. All this happened when we acquaint ourselves with God, yes, brothers sir. and sisters. Yes, sir. And everything you go through in life without God is to get to these spots. You shooting for the gold and the, and the offer. That's why you get the multiple jobs. And you try to learn this. And you try to do this. And you try to do that. We try to do all these things outside of using him. 
when he promises you all that when you just seek him. Look at, look at how life is for us, not to discredit college at all, but look at the steps we do. We go to college, law school, medical school, all this stuff. We spend all these years learning this when God never had it laid out like that for you. Serve me and I'm going to give you that. What do we go to college for so we get that good paying job, that six figure job? When God promised you six figures just for serving him, seem like that's an easier route. We never take the good deal. Lord, let me get the, the long way around. I know you straight right here, but I'm going to curve around you, Jesus. I catch you on the back end when my plan failed. That's how we treat them. He lay out simple, successful plans for us. He even told Joshua, hey, don't be dismayed. You don't turn to the left or to the right, and I will make your way prosperous. Every servant in the Bible to dedicate their mind to the Lord, the Lord take care of them. That's right. Why we can't follow suit? What, like he just cut that off from doing that with his servants when the book, when he ended, when it ended in Revelation? Our oh, Lord ain't gonna do that for this generation. He will, brothers and sisters. He will. Where we at, Jay? In Second Chronicles. Let's go to Second Chronicles chapter fifteen. We got awesome God, brothers and sisters. We just gotta believe that. 2 Chronicles 15, we're going to pick it up at verse 1. 2 Chronicles 15, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. We're going to read about old King Asa. Second Chronicles chapter 15, chapter 15 and verse 1. When you get there, my brother, go right ahead. And the Spirit of God came upon Azariah, the son of Oded, Go ahead. And he went out to meet Asa and said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin. Uh huh. The Lord is with you while ye be with him. Facts. And if ye seek him, he will be found of you. Uh huh. That, that message is all through the book, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. All you got to do is seek him. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to be lost. It ain't going to be a hard seek either. The Lord just let us know if you just put forth the effort to seek me, I'm going to make myself known to you. Just make the steps. Go ahead. But if you forsake him, uh -huh. he will forsake you. Hey, but if you turn your back on him, yes, sir. don't get mad when he turns his back on you. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Now, for a long season, Israel have been without the true God. Uh-huh. And without a teaching priest. Go ahead. And without law. Hey, that's like it is in these times, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But when they, but when they... I'm sorry, but when they in their trouble did turn unto the Lord God of Israel uh -huh. and sought him, he was found of them. Uh -huh. Boy, that don't sound like our, the steps we take now. Mm -hmm. The same steps. Israel ain't changed at all, y'all. Right. You can't tell this ain't black folks. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> we wait till to seek the Lord when we in trouble. Right. You in jail, Lord, get me out of here. Yeah. You sick, Lord, get this off of me. No can't you. pay nothing, Lord, take care of this. <laughs> Always when we in trouble, that's when we seek them. All the time. But when we seek them, we still find them. Got to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. That's the key that he leave every time we do that. If you ever notice, your, even though he your last resort, he came through, didn't he? Right. So imagine if we put him on the forefront. Why deal with all the stress and the worry and the anxiety of asking him last when I should have just put him up front? Right. Let me seek you before I do what I'm going to do. Go ahead, brother. And in, all, and in those times, there was no peace to him that went out, nor to him that came in. Uh-huh. But great vexations were upon all the inhabitants of the country. So that means they had problems all over them, right. like it is today. Mm -hmm. You go outside, you don't know what's going to hit you. Mm -hmm. Transgender might walk up to you. Thug might walk up to you. You don't know what's going on now. You just look at the world like, man, what planet am I on? <laughs> What planet is this? We on Mars now? <laughs> it confuses you. Mm -hmm. I used to see the elders look at us like, man, I would never look at the young folks like how they looked at us until I see them now. I'm... Look at them hard, like, what is wrong with y'all? Y'all are crazy. Yeah. <laughs> but that's on us on all sides, brothers and sisters now. Troubles, vexation, everywhere. Mm -hmm. 
Go ahead, bro. Where we at? Six. Go ahead. And nation was destroyed of nation. Uh-huh. And city of city. Go ahead. For God did vex them with all adversity. God kept troubles all the way around the people. Mm -hmm. But something going to happen. Skip down to verse 8. And when Asa heard these words and the prophecy of Oded the prophet, uh -huh. he took courage. Go ahead. And put away the abominable idols out of the land of Judah and Benjamin. Hey, it sounds like it takes courage to stop sinning. It, <laughs> Yeah. It takes some strength to say, I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing. Yeah. That's what that's telling me. Because we get used to our sins, brothers and sisters. We got, everybody in here is used to yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, we're a sugar, well, you know, Lord ain't going to strike me down. for such, such, Let me keep doing such, such. It, You better take some courage and stop doing what you're doing. Right. Go ahead, brother. And out of the cities which he had taken from Mount Ephraim uh -huh. and renewed the altar of the Lord, that was before the porch of the Lord. Hey, so he took courage. He removed all the false idols and everything, and he set everything back up to the Lord. Mm -hmm. He's dedicating his mind to the Lord now. Right. Go ahead, bro. 12. Skip down to verse 12, and what does it read? And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their fathers with uh -huh. all their heart and with all their soul. So they made a covenant. They made an agreement to do this now. Mm -hmm. Hey, Asa then got all, the, all, of, all of the kingdom together. We're going to make a covenant to serve God with all our heart and soul. That means they're going to dedicate their full mind only to the Lord. Go ahead, brother. Sk skip down. I'm sorry, 15. 15. And all Judah rejoiced at the oak, for they had sworn with all their heart uh -huh. and sought him with their whole desire. Whole desire. So we're going to see the outcome of what happened when people gave their all to just serving God. Nothing else. What, go ahead, brother. And he was found of them. He found them. So now they're not doing stuff on the back end. Mm -hmm. They put them on the front now. Right. Go ahead. And the Lord gave them rest round about. Hey, so there ain't no more adversity on all sides no more now. Right. This is when they put God on the forefront. This is when they dedicated their mind and their heart only to serving the Lord. Then they had peace. That's a good formula, brothers and sisters. You just dedicate the Lord, you put him on the first front of your minds, you will be at peace. Yeah. We already see what he can do when we call him last. All of us have experienced that. Yeah. He our last resort. But have we ever put him on the front? Because these, when they did it, they had peace all round about. And ain't that what we want? Because yeah. that's what he leave. He said, peace, I leave with you. And there ain't a person in here that don't want peace. All of us do. All of us do, brothers and sisters. Let's go to Psalms 34. Psalms 34, we're going to pick it up at verse 4. Psalms 34, and we're going to pick it up at verse 4. We don't have to be afraid of nothing. But him. And that's a choice we make. Fear everything else going on. COVID has a spooked. <laughs> I'm going to call it for what it is. COVID had a spooked. Not the God that brung it on the table. COVID had a spooked. Somebody cough you. <laughs> Where your mask at, bro? All this, I, I, COVID became his own little God, y'all. It, sure it became his own little God. We watched it. <laughs> no faith in the Lord, no more. It's <gasps> and gave it honor. <gasps> but somebody made COVID. Jesus made it. That's right. Japan didn't make it. <laughs> America didn't make it. Jesus made it. <laughs> Why not go straight to the source? <laughs> Psalms 34, brothers and sisters, and we're going to pick it up at verse 4. What does it read, my brother? I sought the Lord, and he heard me, uh -huh. and delivered me from all my fears. Some of my fears. All my fears. Hey, we all have fears still to this day. Mm -hmm. Even though we read all the time, don't fear them, they can destroy the body. Right. And after that can do nothing. We still afraid of them. Mm -hmm. We still afraid of them, brothers and sisters. All we got to do is seek the Lord. We have no fears. We all want to be fearless. There's a way to get to that. 
Go ahead, my brother. Eight. Skip down to verse 8, and what does it read? Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes, sir. Blessed is a man that trusts in him. Uh -huh, the Lord just wants you to try. Mm -hmm. Sample them out. Sample them out. Yeah. Pick a day, any day, and say, you know what? I'm not going to question nothing. I'm not going to plan nothing. I'm going to pray to the Lord. I'm going to say it's the Lord's will. I'm going to keep this law today, and I'm going to see what's going to happen. Taste it. Yeah. See, see what he do. See what he do for doing everything right one day. Yeah. <laughs> Don't sound like nothing bad could happen. <laughs> but it's a, it's a step we very normally try, brothers and sisters. Yeah. We very normally try this. All right, I'm going to trust the Lord a little bit. Trust the Lord while I'm in class. Trust the Lord when I lay down in my bed. But put him complete trust. No thought, no planning, no what if, no worry. Just, just strictly trust your God and see what happened that day. Yeah. Go ahead, brother. Oh, fear the Lord. Uh-huh. Ye, ye his saints. Go ahead. For there is no want to them that fear him. What? There's no want to them that fear him? That's what it's saying. Well, I won't. So what is that saying about me? I must don't fear. A lot of us still got things we want. Still got things we wish we had. Still got goals you're trying to accomplish. But God said for his saints, there is no want. All their desires is being taken care of. So if we're still in a state of mind where it's still things we want, we want, then what is that saying? Saying the mindset ain't where it needs to be. Because my heavenly father know what I need, so I shouldn't have a want. This is the thing, brothers and sisters, our mind has got used to trusting itself. Used to it. Go ahead, brother. I went in Psalms. Well, let's go to Psalms 27 now. Mm -hmm. Keep me in line, Jay. You know how I get into I it. Got you. I got you. Psalms 27, brothers and sisters. We're going to pick it up at verse 1. We eating okay? Yeah. Praise the Lord. Don't let your heart be troubled now. <laughs> Rejoice in your God. Psalms 27, we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Psalms 27, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Look at the questions that the Lord had King David to have right here in this psalm. 27 and 1, what does it read, brother? The Lord is my light uh -huh. and my salvation. Yes, sir. Whom shall I fear? Good question. The, the Lord is your light and your salvation. Who should I be afraid of? Go ahead. The Lord is the strength of my life. Uh-huh. Of whom shall I be afraid? Good question. Who should make you afraid when all your strength comes from God? Go ahead. When the wicked, even mine enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat up my flesh, uh -huh. they stumbled and fell. Yes, sir. Though an host should encamp against me. Hey, though you surround it. Go my, ahead. My heart shall not fear. My heart shall not fear. You know what that mean? Hey, that mean, hey, you didn't even get the thought of being worried about right. it. You know, sometimes you be afraid, but you don't make it known you're afraid. Mm -hmm. You wait till later, Jay, boy, them boys had me spooked. Yeah. <laughs> boy, they came around the truck. I ain't know what was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> but you can't be that. Right. You cannot be that. I remember we used to go out and witness on the street. Don't go to Pepper Tree Apartment. Don't go by yourself. Yeah. We like, man, we going out there. We out there with the thugs. They got AK-47s and everything all out in the street. Yeah. But they walked us all around there, too. Yeah. Them the boy from my OG, y'all, they cool. Just because we didn't have no fear on us. Now the cat, the other church that come in there with the shaking knees, man, give us these, give us everything. <laughs> but when you don't have no fear on you, brothers and sisters, the Lord do take care of you. That's right, You'd bro. be surprised what rooms you can walk into when you got all your trust in God. That's real, bro. They be like, man, you better not go in there. That's vice lord territory. Man, step all up in there. What y'all doing? <laughs> What y'all doing? <laughs> because who can make us afraid? Right. God is in control of it all, so what can man do if God's in control? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Is God in control or he ain't? Because if he is, what can man do? Mm. Nothing. 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 <laughs> Go ahead, brother. The war should rise against me. Uh-huh. In this will I be confident. And this will I be confident. Even if there's a war, everybody around you is, I'm fin we finna come down on them. Mm -hmm. Let them come down on me. You're going to stumble and fall because I'm his child. Right. That's where our minds got to be, brothers and sisters. Do you know who your daddy is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
If you had one of them daddies that was a big old swole cat that was just knocking cats out in the street, you walk like that in the yeah. street. Do you know who my daddy yeah. is? <laughs> my daddy will knock you out. Yeah. <laughs> you got one of them daddies. Yeah. Do you know my God, dude? Look him up and down. You know my God? Man, he will, man, will ruin you. Man, <laughs> he said his name is Vengeance. Yeah. Don't mess with my daddy, bro. <laughs> That's got, that's got to be us, brothers and sisters, because we know him, or we should know him. Right. Go ahead, brother. Four. One thing have I desired of the Lord. Yes, sir. That will I seek after. Uh-huh. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of and my that's life. that's what we should be seeking, brothers and sisters. We seeking the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. To behold the beauty of the Lord. Uh-huh. And to inquire in his temple. Yes, sir. That's what we shooting for. Nothing else matters. I want to sit next to the Lord. Mm -hmm. I want to tell Father Adam, man, what were you thinking? I want to have these conversations. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his provision. He's going to do what in the time of trouble? Hide me in his provision. Because I serve him. That's right, bro. So if I'm in trouble, the Lord know how to put you up. Mm -hmm. Get out the way. Oh, yeah. I almost said. Get out the way. <laughs> Edit that. Edit yeah. that. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. In the secret of his tabernacle <laughs> shall he hide me. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me? That's right. Go ahead, he brother. He shall set up upon his rock. He should set me up on, upon his rock. Uh-huh. The Lord going to set you stable, brothers uh -huh. and sisters, on him. The Lord is your stability. Mm -hmm. That's something we lose sight in. We are unstable because we took him out the picture. Go ahead, bro. And now shall mine head be lifted up upon mine enemy, uh -huh. above mine enemy. And it's enemy. supposed to be. When you have a knowledge of God, your head is supposed to be lifted up. Mm -hmm. This is your confidence. Go ahead. Above my enemies round about. Uh -huh. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. Yes, sir. Sacrifices of what? Of joy. You glad you serve the Lord because mm -hmm. you know what your God do for you. Right. It baffles me. Sometimes we come in class and we just like, man, this is the, man, let's just get it over with. Yeah. Really? Yeah. He's the joy of our salvation. There was another option for us. We are first fruits in his eyes. Right. That's a good feeling, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Every time you come to class and you get to see more first fruits, you're like, man, look, we might all be in the kingdom. Yeah. We keep doing this thing. That's a beautiful thing to behold, brothers and sisters. It is, bro. Where we at, bro? Middle of seat. Go ahead. I will sing. Yeah, I will sing praises unto the Lord. Yes, sir. We need to do that. Like just walk and just hum sometime. Mm -hmm. It's so much I used to see my elders do that didn't make no sense to me. We had that zeal, but we didn't have no knowledge. Right. We got the knowledge, and we done lost the zeal now. Facts. We don't sing no praises to our <laughs> God. We ain't happy for it. Man, the Sunday Christians so happy in they God, child. Mm -hmm. They happy in they white Jesus. Right. <laughs> happy in white Jesus. We got the true and living God, and we act like he's the most miserable thing to hit us. Right, right, bro. That's the biggest lottery ticket you've ever had. We should be happy. That's real, bro. Where we at, bro? Verse 7. Go ahead. Here, O oh Lord. When I cry with my voice, yes, sir. have mercy also upon me and answer me. Yeah, because we want them to. Go ahead. When thou saidest, seek ye my face, my heart said unto thee, thy face, Lord, will I see. Uh-huh, and let us say that too, brothers and mm -hmm. sisters. You got to make your mind up. That's all that's this saying. Make your mind up. All right, Lord, I'm going to seek you now. I'm not going to just go to class. There's a difference. I'm going to seek you. Right. There's a big difference from going to class right. and seeking the Lord. You seek the Lord on a solo mission mm -hmm. in your secret closet, at your home, in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon. All day you meditating on the Lord. That's what you do personally. You got to say, okay, I'm going to dedicate my mind to you. It ain't a group effort. We don't all share the same mind. We are all individuals, brothers and sisters. You have to make your mind up to say, okay, I'm going to seek you. Where we at, Jay? Psalms Let's go to Psalm 119. Because there's perks in this, brothers and sisters. It is. Psalm 119. I done heard had sisters come to me and say, I just don't want things to bother me no more. There's a way to, for that to happen. I don't want to be stressed no more. I don't be worried about this no more. But there's access to all that. It can happen. 
Psalm 119 and verse 76. 119 and verse 76. What does it read, my brother? Let, I pray thee, thy merciful kindness be for my comfort. Be for my what? My comfort. Be for my what, my, my brother? My comfort. My comfort. Go ahead. According to thy word and to thy service. Uh-huh. So this word is supposed to be comforting to you. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to make you feel good when the Lord say, I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. Mm -hmm. It's supposed to make you feel good when the Lord say, these are branches plucked out of a fire. Yes. It's supposed to make you feel good when he say, put all my cares on you for I care for you. Those things are supposed to make you feel good and comfortable about your God because he's telling you, I got you, baby. That's what he's telling you. Right. Go ahead, brother. Let thy tender mercies come unto me. Yes, sir. Th that I may live, for thy law is my delight. Uh-huh. Thy law is my what? My delight. You're supposed to feel good to keep the law. Mm -hmm. It's eternal life in that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Let the proud be ashamed. For they, do, for they dealt perversely with me without a cause. Uh-huh. But I will meditate in thy precepts. Uh-huh. Look what he's doing even when the proud is coming up against him. He meditating on the word of God. Go ahead, brother. Let those that fear thee turn unto me. Uh-huh. And those that have known thy testimony. Yes, sir. This is Jesus talking mm -hmm. right here. Let those that fear thee turn to me. Yes, sir. Turn to the Son. Go ahead. Let my heart be sound in thy statute. Let my heart be sound in what? In thy statute. In thy statute. Let my heart be settled in mm -hmm. your word. Have you ever just had a, a day when your mind is just going all over the place and you seem like you can't stop thinking about stuff? Yes, sir. Pick your book up. Pick your book up if that happened to you. Yes, sir. You will be settled in this. The Lord had you read something, you'll be like, well, shoot, let me stop thinking then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it just be that quick. Right. He know how to calm his child down. <laughs> we lose sight in that. Every parent did. Boy, sit down. Stop thinking. Yes, ma'am. Lord, it hit you the same way. You'll read something. You're like, oh, okay. I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. Let my heart be sound in thy statutes uh -huh. that, I, that I be not ashamed. Go ahead, my brother. My soul fainted for thy salvation. My soul fainted for thy salvation. Oh, Lord, come on. But I hope in thy word. But I hope in your word. Mm hmm that's what we got to do, brothers and sisters. He said, I go and I prepare a place for you. So we know it's coming. Right. Wait on it. Keep doing what you got to do so you stay in the fold and wait on it, brothers and sisters. Wait on it. He got something coming for us. Mm -hmm. Let's go to 2 Timothy, the first chapter. I'm sorry, I skip down verse 92. Skip down to 92. I'm sorry. Unless thy law had been my delight, uh -huh. I should. I should then have perished in mine affliction. Uh huh. And this will happen, brothers and sisters. Right. If you don't have, if you don't have no delight in the law of the Lord, you you left to your own devices. Yeah. You left to your own devices. So whatever you're going through, you're gonna perish in it. You ain't got no law to keep you. Mm -hmm. Look at all the people that go completely left field when they leave here. That threw the law to the table. The minute they go through something, it's like they didn't went all the way left field. All the way. Because, hey, this was no longer a delight. It's danger in not even delighting in the law of God, brothers and sisters. You're supposed to enjoy doing this. It's life in this. Not death. It's life in this. Go ahead, brother. I will never forget thy precepts. Yes, sir. For with them thou hast quickened me. Uh-huh. You mean the precepts give me life? Yes, sir. When I'm down, yes, when I'm sir. depressed, when I'm when I've got anxiety, all this, you mean to tell me this will quicken me? That's right, bro. Taste it, brothers and sisters. You don't need no support group. You don't need no hotline. You don't need no psychiatrist. All you need is the word. That's all you need. Teach. Try it. Teach. It baffles me to hear people say, well, yeah, I'm going to go see my psychiatrist tomorrow. I'm going to take my baby to the shrink tomorrow. Really? The Lord promised you what this would do. Right. You don't believe that? But you trust a man's knowledge to fix your mind? Right. That's got madness in his heart too? Probably more problems than you. Way more problems than you. He just writing notes down. He drawing on the he drawing stick man. Uh-huh. So tell me a little bit more about your problem. Oh, okay. He doing like, crossword puzzles and everything. I ain't thinking about you. And he can't fix you. The Lord can. That's right, bro. He can quicken you strictly with his word. Why do you need a shrink? You don't need one. You don't need one. All you need is him, brothers and sisters. He fixed minds too. Teach. 
In fact, he's the only one that fixed minds. No one else can do it. That's right. Where we at, bro? Second Timothy. Go ahead. Now let's go to Second Timothy, the first chapter. See, we, we lose sight of the value in the word of God and what it do for us, brothers and sisters. It's important to have this housed in you so we can eliminate everything else that's messed up in the mind. It's a filtration system. We always say it. It pulled the dirty thoughts out and bring righteous thoughts in. So we got to keep, keep it going because there's a lot of dirt in these brains, brothers and sisters. But 2 Timothy chapter 1, and we're going to pick it up at verse 7. 2 Timothy 1 and verse 7. When you get there, my brother, go right ahead. For God have not given us the spirit of fear. Uh, what? He didn't give us the spirit of fear? Mm -hmm. So why are we afraid? It didn't come from him. Right. Go ahead. But of power. Uh-huh. And of love. Go ahead. And of a sound mind. And of a sound mind. That means my mind ain't all over the place. So if we are really keeping this law and really walking therein, we have sound minds, brothers and sisters. We're not stressing. Because he didn't leave us that. He didn't leave us minds with anxiety, minds with fear, minds with depression. He didn't leave that with us. So we have really got to tap into this word, into this law, and really walk therein to eliminate what's in our head, brothers and sisters. Because he didn't leave that mind. He left a sound mind, right. a mind that's at peace, a mind that ain't worrying. So we really got to do a wicked check, brothers and sisters. Skip down for me, my brother, and read verse, uh, yeah. verse 9. Who have saved us and called us with an holy call. Uh-huh. Not according to our work. Hey, ain't none of us here for what we did right. before we got into the truth. That's right, bro. None of us are here. That's why we have to understand the beauty of our God and really tap into this thing because he's giving us peace right now. Mm -hmm. He's trying to take care of us in this lifetime and the one to come. If we just tap into this, go ahead. But according to his own purpose uh -huh. and grace, yes, sir. which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. So you mean to tell me we was thought of before the world was? That's what he said. We was? Yes, sir. Then why do we have a problem? Why am I worried when I came up before the problems were here? We got to understand the way the bigger picture in our lives, individual. Before the world was, he knew you. So if he knew you before the world was, I don't think a God that knew me before the world was is going to forsake me. He don't operate like that. Right. If I'm not with him, it's not what he did, it's what I done. Because he been with us since before we was here, y'all. Right. So what problem do I have? Shouldn't have one. What fear should I have? I shouldn't have one. Mm -hmm. Everything that you're afraid of, he talked about you before your fear came up. We shouldn't worry about nothing, brothers and sisters. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Where we at, Jay? Let's go to Daniel, the third chapter. Let's check out the three Hebrew boys, as they say. Daniel chapter 3, we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Daniel chapter 3, and we're going to pick it up at verse 1. I want, we're going to see an example of what a sound mind really is. Daniel 3 and verse 1, when you get there, my brother, keep feeding us. Nebuchadnezzar, the king, made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits. Uh-huh. He set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Go ahead. Then Nebuchadnezzar, the king, sent to gather together the princes, the governors, and the captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs, and all the rulers of the provinces uh -huh. to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. So he got all the leaders together. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Five. Skip down to verse 5 and what does it read? That at what time you hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, uh -huh. ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Uh-huh. So Nebuchadnezzar had set that image up, and he said, when you hear the music playing, you're supposed to bow down to the image. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. And whoso falleth not down and worship, 
shall the same hour be cast into the midst of the bur burning fiery furnace. Uh-huh. So whoever don't bow down to this image, they're going to throw them in the fire the same hour. Right. Go ahead, bro. Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sat but, psaltery, and psaltery and all kinds of music, uh -huh. all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king they had they were afraid up. of that thing. Right. So anytime they heard the music, they would, they would get down, mm -hmm. bow down. Go ahead, brother. Wherefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. Uh-huh, because they knew it was some in the mix that went bowing down to it. Mm -hmm. They knew it was, and it was three brothers at this time. Go ahead, my brother. Skip down to verse 12, and what does it read? There are certain Jews whom thou hast set up, oh, set over of the affairs of the province of Babylon, uh -huh. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Go ahead. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Uh-huh. And brothers and sisters, best believe this will always, this will be the life of a servant. Yes, sir. Somebody going to call you out on serving Jeez. your God. Everybody watching, you got a cloud of witnesses around you. Jeez. Hey, and that's what happened to these three brothers right here. Mm -hmm. Hey, they serving their God. Hey, and here come the accusers. Mm -hmm. Hey, well, it's three that ain't doing it, King. Right. Go ahead. It's going to be like this for us, too. Don't get it twisted. Right. Go ahead. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage... And fury commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh huh. Then they brought these men before the king. Go ahead. So they brought them before the king now, because they done told this thing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Nebuchadnezzar spake and said unto them, Uh huh. Is it true, O Shadrach, Me Shadrach Meshach, and Abednego? Uh huh. Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Is it true? Watch how they answer them, though, brothers and sisters. Go ahead. Now, if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made. Uh huh. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast, in, cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. Yes, sir. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hand? Uh huh. So he's gonna try to ask him a question now. Mm -hmm. Now, you know when you hear my music, you're supposed to bow down. Right. And if not, I'm going to burn you. Mm -hmm. Who going to help you? <laughs> Watch how they answer them, though, brothers. So they could have been biting their nails. They could have been, oh, King, have some mercy on us. But look how they conduct themselves. Right. Go ahead. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, Uh-huh. O Nebuchadnezzar. We are not careful to answer thee in this matter. Right. We, hey, we ain't got to be careful. We ain't been a tiptoe around talking to you. Mm -hmm. That's why the book said be careful in nothing. Right. They wouldn't care. Uh-uh, we ain't got to overthink this thing. Right. We finna talk to you straight up. Right. Go ahead. If it be so, uh -huh. our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning See, fiery furnace. This is faith you read. That's right. They ain't quoting no scriptures. They ain't reciting nothing written. Mm -hmm. They standing on what they know about their God. Sure That's is. what faith is. Yeah, standing on what you know about your God. Mm -hmm. King, we ain't careful to answer you in this. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And he will deliver us out of thine hand, old king. Uh-huh. We, but if we not, got one that will deliver us. Right. But if not, go ahead. Be it known unto thee, O king. We letting you know, because we know. That we will not serve thy God, uh -huh. nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Uh-huh. Let, but let, let's want, make one thing clear, Nebuchadnezzar. Even if he don't save us, right. we still ain't going to worship That's yet. right. See, this is what faith is, right? This is standing on it. Mm -hmm. They went biting their nails. They went, well, king, we humbly ask you. They like, look here, bruh. We ain't bowing down to that. Our God will deliver us. Right. And if he don't, we're going to let you know one thing. We still ain't going to bow down. Right. They ain't careful in how they talking. Yes, they know sir. what God they serve. Praise the Lord. Go ahead, brother. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury. I bet he was. And the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh -huh. He done got hot now. He don't even yeah. look at them the same right. no more. Right. Go ahead. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven times more than it was was what to be heated. Uh-huh. Turn it from 350 to 475. <laughs> <laughs> Scorch them brothers. Go ahead. Skip down and read verse 24, my brother. What does it read? Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished uh -huh. and rose up in haste and spake and said unto his counselors, uh -huh. Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. Yeah, we did. Go ahead. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, 
walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt. And the form of the fourth is like the son of God. Yes, sir. Go then, ahead. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the most high God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of, of the midst of the fire. Just walked about the fire. Uh -huh. Was just chilling in it, y'all. Yeah. Hey, man, y'all come about. What you want, king? They just walked out like it wasn't nothing. Yeah. That's what trusting your God will do, brothers right. and sisters. Makes you invincible. Go ahead, brother. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men. Everybody was there. Go ahead. Upon whose bodies the fire had no power. Uh-huh. Nor was not hair of their head singed. Oh, uh, they didn't even burn a hair follicle. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Neither were their coats changed, mm -hmm. nor the smell of fire had passed they on them. They didn't smell like smoke, y'all. Yes, sir. We can barbecue and smell like smoke. That ain't what you said. They didn't even have the smoke on them. And they just walked clean up out this thing, yes, brothers sir. and sisters. But there's something about this that's for all of us that we don't lose, that we lose sight in. Keep your marker here. We're going to come right back. But let's go to Isaiah 54. Let me show you where Sadrach, Meshach, and Abednego accessed, brothers and sisters, why this was possible for them. We're going to read one verse, Isaiah 54, and we're going to read verse 17. Isaiah 54 and verse 17. When you get there, my brother, go right ahead. No weapon that is formed against me against thee shall prosper. Yes, sir. And every tongue that shall ar that rise against thee in judgment Thou shalt condemn. Uh-huh. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. This is the heritage. Of, these are the perks. Mm -hmm. This is what's coming to you if you're a servant of God. You're a servant of God. No weapon form shall prosper. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Go ahead. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Their righteousness is of who? Of the Lord. Of the Lord. Uh -huh. So the Lord is going to vouch for you right. when you're his servant. Nothing can touch you when you're his servant. That's right, bro. Because you are his righteousness. Mm -hmm. See, that's what we, we lose sight of. When we stay where we need to be, we are his. That's right. Can't nobody do nothing to his. And we got to keep our minds there, brothers and sisters. That's all we got to focus on is keeping that law. Mm -hmm. Now, let's go back to Daniel, the third chapter. And we're going to pick it up at 28 now. All we got to do is focus on him, brothers and sisters. You don't have no problems once you do that. I don't care if somebody's standing in front of you with a bullet to your brain. It ain't finna go off unless it's the Lord's will. That's right. That's right. You got to keep everything in that perspective. Everything, if it's the Lord's will. Deuteronomy, the I'm sorry, Daniel the third chapter in verse 28. Now, what does it read, my brother? Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yes, sir. Who have sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him. That did what? That trusted, that in, trusted him. in him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And have changed the king's word and yielded their bodies uh -huh. that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own God. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Therefore, I make a decree uh -huh. that every and he people... had to change the law now. Yes, sir. Just because the servants of God trusted in God. Yes, sir. See, that's what we got to show the world, this, brothers uh -huh. and sisters. This is a trend we need to start. Right. Man, when people see us trusting in God and God vouching for us, everybody going to want it. That's right. It's just that simple. That's right. We can read that in the law, brothers and sisters. Now, now Nebuchadnezzar didn't want the Lord. Now, because what God going to do that? Right. Go ahead. Therefore, I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You better not even talk about that God. Go sh ahead. Shall be cut in pieces. Uh-huh. And their houses shall be made a dung heap. Ooh. Because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Yes, sir. That, yes, sir. Hey, made a believer out yes, of them. Yes, sir. They stood firm with it, brothers and sisters. Praise That's what Lord. we got to do. Praise the Lord. We can't be around here shaky and scared like everybody else without the Lord. That ain't us. We got him on our team. Or rather, he got us on his if we keep in the law. Right. So what is there that can harm us? We got to show the world that. We got to show the world that he is with us just because we keep his law. 
because there's perks with that, brothers and sisters. A lot of us like, man, I can't get no fruit. I can't get no people in. What are you showing them? Right. Are we just showing them book? We talking book, but what are you showing them? I see that brother still stressing. I see that, I see that brother still afraid. I see that brother still depressed. What's the purpose of serving that God? It ain't doing nothing for him. Mm. All he's showing me is that the Sabbath day, I need to go to church on the Sabbath day and not Sunday. But his mind is just as wrecked as mine. Teach, man. So what are you showing? They're supposed to see you walking with confidence in your God, strength in your God. When they talking about what they're afraid of, you're like, man, the Lord got me. I ain't worried about that. Right. They need to see that in us. Otherwise, what we doing this for? Where we at, bro? 2 Corinthians 1. Let's go to 2 Corinthians, the first chapter. Second Corinthians 1, we're going to pick it up at verse 3. Second Corinthians 1 and verse 3. People see this thing, brothers and sisters, they going to want it. <laughs> Trust me. Everybody wants some comfort. 2 Corinthians 1 and 3, what does it read, my brother? Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. The Father of mercies and the God of all comfort. The God of all comfort. Yes, Go sir. ahead. Who comforted us in all our tribulations. Some of them. All our tribulations. All our new flash. What them brothers just went through was a tribulation. Sure was. Go ahead. That we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble. Uh-huh. By the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. Uh-huh. See, this is why we got to show this mm. thing. When we go through our thing and people see us come out, they're like, man, how did you get out of that? Yes, man, sir. bro, I got in my book. I prayed to the Lord. Yes, sir. I even turned my plate over, man. Yes, he got sir. me clean up out of it. That's For right, real? Bro. Yeah, bro. It Teach. happened. Teach. We got to show this. We're not showing any of the benefits of what we do. Right. We don't show that. And God promised us so much, and we don't, we don't proclaim none of that to the world. Mm. It's a perk for me to keep the commandments. It's a benefit for me to serve God. And it's our job to show people that because everybody want it. People want to get out their funk, brothers and sisters. Right. We got to show them how. God has comforted us. We show them that. Bro, when I saw you, you was down on your luck. What happened? I found the Lord, baby. <laughs> you better, I got a spot you need to go. Yeah. And they teaching the word. And it'll get you out of that. We got to show it like this. Right. There's perks to what we do, brothers and sisters. Perks. Where we at, bro? Verse 5. Go ahead. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us. Uh-huh, because we always bring out the suffering. Right. Oh, I'm going through what my Lord went through. <laughs> oh, they talking about me like they talked about Jesus. We quit to say that. Yeah. But we'll finish it. So our consolation also abounded by Christ. So the prize is with you too. That's right, bro. Because you know what he got after he went through all that ridicule. Salvation. So finish the sentence. Just don't say they dog me. I like Christ. But that's all right. I'm going to get my reward, though. Do it right there. <laughs> Come back with it. Go ahead, brother. And whether we be afflicted. Whether we be afflicted so we go through something. Uh -huh. Go it, ahead. It is for your consolation. It's for your consolation. And what else? And salvation. It's for a reason. That's right, brother. See, if you're a servant of God, even when you go through stuff, you know the Lord doing something. Mm -hmm. You know what he promised you, so it's got to be for my salvation. It's not to destroy me. He don't operate like that. Right. Go ahead, brother. Which is effectual in the enduring of the same suffering. Yes, sir. Which we also suffer. Uh-huh. Or whether we be comforted. Or whether we be comforted. It is for your consolation and salvation. And salvation. Yes, sir. He comforts you for your salvation. Mm -hmm. He's letting you know you're on the right track. I promise you this, and I'm going to let you know we're going to get there. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Go ahead, brother. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as ye are partakers of the suffering, so shall ye also be also of the consolation. So if you go through what your God went through, you're supposed to be happy. If they put your mouth on you because you're keeping the Sabbath Praise day, you're supposed Lord. to be happy, y'all. You fit the bill. Yes, sir. You've only known one person in the book that they dogged out like that, and that's your God. 
and he told you they're going to say the same thing to you yes, that they said to me. Yes, That's letting you know you're on the same team. Your right That's your comfort right there. If they ain't talking about you, better open your mouth. Amen. Let them hate you at work. <laughs> Let them want to stone you. Shut up talking about that, Jesus. We're going to knock you out. Praise the Lord. <laughs> you supposed to want that. Amen. That's your identification, brothers and sisters. Amen. That's how God said you was on the team. Amen. you supposed to want that. Oh, they're going to dog me out like Jesus. Praise the Lord. Let's go to 2 Chronicles chapter 20. I got 10 more, brothers and sisters. Can I cut it or should I keep going? I don't know how the tape's going to run, but we're going to keep going. Y'all enjoying it? Praise the Lord. We need it because our hearts be troubled. Yeah. <laughs> Second Chronicles chapter 20, brothers and sisters. I know mine, dude. Boy, you get a phone call sometime, mess your whole day up. <laughs> you be like, oh, man, now I'm thinking about this all day. <laughs> Can't focus at work. You be messing up because you got stuff all on your mind. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't the only one. <laughs> Second Chronicles chapter 20, we're going to pick it up at verse 1. Second Chronicles 20 and verse 1. Go ahead, my brother. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them other besides the Ammonites came against Je Jehoshaphat the, to battle. Go ahead. Then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on this on this side of Syria. Uh -huh. And behold, they be in Hazazon Tamar, which is in Egypt. Uh -huh. So it was a big host of Moabites and Ammonites coming up against the king, coming up against Jehoshaphat right here. Mm -hmm. A large company. Go ahead, brother. What the next verse say? And Jehoshaphat feared. He got afraid now. He got, he got afraid. Mm -hmm. We going to get afraid. Things going to rock you that's going to scare you. But look at how Jehoshaphat handled his fear. Go ahead. And Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord. Set himself to seek. I'm scared of this situation. Let me go seek the Lord. Mm -hmm. Listen how he did this. He didn't say, okay, what I'm going to do? Okay, let me plan a, a, a plan of attack. He got scared, and he seeked his God because he was scared of the situation. Mm -hmm. Pay attention to this. He was scared of the situation, so he seeked his God. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. And proclaimed the fast throughout all Judah. Uh-huh, so he set things in order. Mm -hmm. He seeked God. Hey, and we turn the plates over. We're going to proclaim a fast. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. And Judah gathered themselves together uh -huh. to ask help of the Lord. Uh-huh. E even out of all the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. Uh-huh, because they scared now. Not only is Jehoshaphat scared, all of Judah is scared. Right. So what are they doing? They seeking the Lord. Go ahead. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem uh -huh. in the house of the Lord before the new court. Go ahead. And said, O Lord God of our fathers, art not thou God in heaven? Uh -huh. And rulest not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathen? Yes, sir. And in thine hand is there not power and might? So that none is able to withstand thee? Yes, sir. And we know the question, the answer to all that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Are not thou, O our God, who didst drive out the inhabitants of, of this land before thy people, uh -huh. Israel? I, I like how, and there's nothing wrong with this, how brothers acknowledge the fact that God was our God. They made it personal. You our God. Israel's supposed to say that. That's our God. Go ahead, brother. Art, are not thou our God who didst drive out the inhabitants of the land before thy people, Israel, and gave us it to the seed of Abraham, thy friend forever? Yes, sir. Go ahead. And they dwelt therein and have built thee a sanctuary therein for thy name's sake. Uh -huh. Same. He, he's going over the Lord's credibility right here. You the one that did this for us. You the one that showed us this. You the one that delivered our forefathers out of this. Go ahead. If. When evil cometh upon us uh -huh. as a sword, judgment, or pestilence, or famine, uh -huh. we stand before this house and in thy presence, for thy name is in this house. Yes, sir. And crying to thee in our affliction, then thou wilt hear and help. Hey, he even brought up what the Lord said about his own house. Hey, Lord, you even told us if we in any trouble, we turn and we seek your face and we face this house, you're going to be there for us. Mm -hmm. 
Go ahead, brother. 14. Skip down to 14, and what does it read? Then upon Jehaziel, the son of Zechariah, the son of Beniah, the son of Jael, and son of Mataniah, Good and job, a Levite. Okay. A Levite of the sons of Asaph. Uh -huh, so one of the priests came up. Go ahead. Came the spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. Go ahead. And he said, hearken ye all Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem and thou King Jehoshaphat. Uh -huh. Thus said the Lord unto you. Who said this? Thus said the, the Lord, Lord unto said you. this to them. Because what did, it, what did Judah do when they got afraid? They turned and they start seeking the Lord. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude. Uh huh. For the battle is not yours but God's. But God's. He told them, hey, don't be afraid. This is my fight. Mm -hmm. They did what they supposed to do. They seek God. Now God fighting now. It's just like a child being scared. Dad, I'm afraid. Oh, boy, I got it. You ain't got to be afraid. Ain't nothing in the closet. <laughs> Step in. And he stepped in for his child when his child was afraid. That's what the Lord do right here because his children seeked him. Go ahead, bro. Let's go to 1 Peter, the fifth chapter. We coming right back to this. Because he said, hey, this battle ain't yours. It's the Lord's. 1 Peter 5, we're going to pick it up at verse 6. Because this is what we got to learn to do, brothers and sisters. Pray to your God and chill out. <laughs> right. Pray to your God and chill out. It's a reason behind that. The Lord used to always tell our forefathers, sit still and watch the salvation of the Lord. Right. You ain't got to do nothing. I got this. 1 Peter 5, my brother, verse 6. What does it read? Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, uh -huh. that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him. Some of our care. All your care you upon him. All your care, all your fears, your problems, whatever it is, put all that on him. For he cared for you. For he cared for you. We ain't got no problem, brothers and sisters, if we law keepers. Right. We give our problems to him. What's wrong with that? He told us to. He told us to. That's right. Now, let's go back to 2 Chronicles chapter 20. Jehoshaphat, them did this. They got afraid, and they took that feeling straight to the Lord. Lord, we scared. It's a great host around us. We don't know what to do. Pick it up at verse 17 now, my brother. What does it read? Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Yes, sir. Set yourselves, stand ye still. Stand ye still. Don't do nothing. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And see the salvation of the Lord with you. Yes, sir. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Uh huh. Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. Uh huh. The Lord told them, go on, go out there. Don't be worried about nothing. I'm fighting for mm -hmm. you. Don't even be dismayed. Watch how they're going to keep their minds there. Keep going, brother. And Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. Uh-huh. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. Kept their mind on giving praise and honor to their God. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. And the Levites, I'm, oh, and the Levites of the children of the Kohathites and of the children of the Korites stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on high. Uh-huh, so they praising the Lord. They rejoicing in God now. They mm -hmm. doing all these things while they were worried about their enemy coming against them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. And they rose early in the morning uh -huh. and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. Go ahead. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah. And the inhabitants of Jerusalem, uh -huh. believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. Go ahead. So shall you be established. Uh-huh, you be settled. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Believe his prophets. Go ahead. So shall ye prosper. Yes, sir. Go ahead, my brother. And when he had consulted with the people, uh -huh. he appointed singers unto the Lord. Go ahead. And that should praise the beauty of his holiness. Uh-huh. As they went out before the army. So while they were going out before the army, he appointed singers to praise God. Mm-hmm. Don't worry about the fight. Don't put no battle strategies together. We finna go out and we praising God. Mm -hmm. Watch why this gonna play out. Keep reading, brother. And to say, praise the Lord. So they praising God. Now they going to battle now, but all they doing is praising their God and singing.
Go ahead. For his mercy endure forever. Uh-huh. And when they began to sing. When they began to fight. Then when they began to sing. Those spears. And began to sing. Arrows. Sing. Go ahead. And to praise the Lord set ambushments against the children of Ammon, Moab, and Mount Seir, uh -huh. which were come against Judah, Go ahead. and they were smitten. While they were singing, the Lord was whooping butt, y'all. Yes, sir. While they singing now, this is the perks to serving God. Ain't no weapon going to harm you. That's right, bro. See, that's the, if we just keep our mind on God, you literally do not have a problem. You don't have one. Really? You really don't. Before you can even bust a move, the Lord has already put moves forth, brothers and right. sisters. Praise God. Look what he did for them while they singing now. They going about it just, that's why I say you better psalms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You better do that. <laughs> Keep your mind where it needs to be and let your God work for you. Because right. you're going to want to think something. You're going to want to operate, especially when you get afraid. I, we ain't learned patience all the way yet. We get impatient. Okay, I done waited on the Lord long enough. Something about to happen. And you want to go operate. Right. Sing to yourself. What's the song they sung today? His mercy. What was the song, sister? His mercy and do. You better say that. <laughs> His mercy. Dum, dum, da, dum, dum. <laughs> How they were doing that. You better keep that in your head. <laughs> so, so you would keep him where he needs to be. Because right. he fight for you, brothers and sisters. That's right, bro. Let's go to Isaiah chapter 30. Wouldn't you love to be singing and the Lord just taking care of problems for you while you're singing? You're going to keep on singing. <laughs> Isaiah chapter 30, we're going to pick it up at verse 15. Isaiah 30 and verse 15. Cause that could have played out different for them. They could have not inquired the Lord. They could say, oh, my goodness, we're surrounded. What do we do? Like people do all the time. And probably would have got their butts toe up. Yeah. <laughs> Check out what the Lord say right here. Isaiah 30 and verse 15. What does it read, my brother? For thus saith the Lord God. Thus saith who? Thus saith the Lord God. Go ahead. The Holy One of Israel. Uh-huh. In returning and rest shall ye be saved. Uh-huh. In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. Yes, sir. And ye would not. Uh -huh. See what the Lord said? If you just served me and just rested and chilled, you would have been straight. Mm. Your confidence in me and just being quiet, you would be protected. Right. See, we got to have confidence in our God. My God going to come through for me. Mm -hmm. And just chill out. Go ahead, brother. What the next verse say? But ye said no. But we say no. No, we don't have no confidence in the Lord. No, I'm not going to sit still. I got to do something. So what's going to happen? For we will flee upon horses. Uh-huh. Therefore shall ye flee. That's why we run. Mm -hmm. Thing go on, we pack up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And we will ride upon the swift. We're going to leave quick. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Therefore shall they that pursue you be swift. Why do you think problems follow us sometimes? We try to move away from situations, <laughs> and the situations still come to the door, right. don't it? Yes, sir. Well, sometimes all we got to do, not sometimes, all the time, all you got to do is have confidence in your God, serve him, and just chill out. Mm. Give him time to fix it. Lord, fix this. I'm keeping the law. He going to fix it. I ain't even worried about it no more. And just chill out. We, we give the Lord an expiration date. Lord, you got two days to fix this problem before I do something. <laughs> then I'm going to take matters in my own hands. Yeah. <laughs> we do them like that. Yeah. And then that problem come right. It be turned up some more. Yeah. You done messed up up. Now you got yourself in a bigger problem. Oh, I should have just waited. <laughs> It happened all the time, brother. Yeah. That's why we laugh at it, because we do that. Yes, sir. Go ahead, brother. 17. 1,000 shall flee at the rebuke of one. Boy, don't we do that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. At the rebuke of five shall ye flee. Uh-huh. Till ye be left as a beacon upon the top of a mountain. We have made it known now. And as an enzyme on a hill. Uh-huh. And therefore will the Lord wait. Uh-huh. That he may be gracious unto you. The Lord just looking and waiting. Mm -hmm. They gonna get it eventually. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. And therefore will he be exalted. Uh-huh. That he may have mercy upon you. Yes, sir. For the Lord is a God of judgment. He a God of judgment. Bless so he gonna weigh in on situations is what that's reminding us of, brothers and sisters. He's a righteous judge. Mm -hmm. He's gonna weigh in. Go ahead. Blessed are all they that wait for him. Blessed are all they that wait for him. Yes, sir. You better believe that. Yes, 
There's nothing wrong with saying, you know what, I'm not going to do nothing. I'm just going to wait on the Lord. There's a blessing coming. Yeah. Thus said the Holy One of Israel, not Brother D-Berry. Right. Those that wait are, got a blessing coming. Yeah. Simple mathematics. Simple. <laughs> Let's go to Isaiah 40, brothers and sisters. And we're going to pick it up at verse 28. We got a 24, 7, 360, whatever. I don't know how many days they call it now. They twisted it up. But we got an all day, every day, God, brothers and sisters. That's right. Isaiah 40 and verse 28. What does it read, my brother? Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, faint it not, neither is weary? Exactly. Do we not know this? I don't hear people pray and say, Lord, I know you're getting tired of me. No, he ain't. He don't get tired. Right. <laughs> right. Why do we, Mr. Do you not know he don't get tired? Right. Lord, I know you're sick of me calling on you. He told you to pray every day. <laughs> pray when I'm sick. So why are you saying that? Did you not know he ain't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get tired and weary. He right. don't. Right. Right. Go ahead. There is no searching of his understanding. You don't know how much the Lord understands. We t go to the Lord, Lord, I know you don't understand what I'm going through. How come he don't? He's been tempted in all things yeah, like we right. were. That's what the book says. <laughs> that's what the book says. Yeah. How he don't understand what you're going through. Right. Go ahead, brother. He give it power to the faint. Yes, sir. And to them that have no might, he increases strength. Yes, sir. Even the youths shall faint and be weary. Age ain't got nothing to do with it. I didn't see any cats younger than me get tired. Go ahead. And the young men shall utterly fall. Uh-huh. But they that wait upon the Lord yes, sir. shall renew their strength. Just for waiting? That's right. Go ahead. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Yes, sir. They shall run and not be weary. Uh-huh. And they shall walk and not faint. All because we waiting on him. That's right. Who don't want that? I couldn't even run full speed from here to that entryway without breathing Man, hard. From, <laughs> I'd be, <laughs> <laughs> be all like that up in here. <laughs> we need to keep waiting, y'all. Yeah, we got to keep waiting. Psalm 56. Right. Psalm 56, we're going to pick it up at verse 3. Hey, we just read it. Jehoshaphat them got scared. Yep. <laughs> you going to get scared. But there's something to do. 56 and 3, what does it read, my brother? What time I am afraid, I will trust in thee. That's what we got to do. Mm -hmm. That's letting you know there's going to be a time when you're going to get afraid. Right. Put your trust in God. Go ahead, brother. In God, I will praise his word in God. Yes, sir. I, I have put my trust. Yes, sir. So you praise in his word and you put his, your trust. In his word. That's all the Lord has left us, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. is his word. Go ahead. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. Right. Right. Why should we? Why should we? Let's go to Luke, the 12th chapter. If we really understand who our God is, what is flesh? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing at all. Something that he, too, controls. Mm. Luke 12 and verse 4. Luke 12 and verse 4. When you get there, my brother, go right ahead. And I say unto you, my friends. He said it to his what? My friends. He talking to us, brothers and uh -huh. sisters. That's comforting in itself. It he it called is. me a friend. I smile every time I read that voice. You talking about me? <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> you like me? <laughs> that feel good to me, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I know where I come from. Like, you what? talking to me? <laughs> Go ahead. Be not afraid of them that kill the body. Uh-huh. And after that, have no more that they can do. Right. They can't do nothing else but put you to sleep. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. But he telling you, you can be a, there is one you can fear, though. Uh-huh. <laughs> Go ahead. Fear him, which after he have killed, have power to cast into hell. Yeah, yeah. I say unto you, fear him. Yeah, he added again, yeah, fear mm -hmm. him. Speaking third person yeah. now. Jesus speaking third person mm -hmm. like the rock used to. <laughs> <laughs> 
I tell you, fear him. He talking about himself, y'all. Uh -huh. He ain't talking about no other. Go ahead, brother. Are not five sparrows sold for two farthings? Uh-huh. And not one of them is forgotten before God? Uh-huh. He don't forget none of them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Who numbered them? Because I didn't. Right. None of us have. <laughs> I can't know. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about my bald head, y'all. <laughs> but it's hair up there. Yeah, yeah, In yeah, any yeah. event, we know the Lord counted it. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Fear not, therefore. Ye are, ye are of more value than many sparrows. He told us to fear not because we more valuable than the sparrows, brothers mm -hmm. and sisters. Right. So why are we afraid of flesh? We shouldn't be. The Lord is even telling us how much value we have in his eyesight. And we lose sight in that. He really, we are precious to the Lord. He means that, brothers yes, and sisters. Yes, sir. He means that. Jeez, bro. He want us to walk right so we can all be in the family of God together. He's not looking at none of us. I hope she don't make it. I hope he fail. I hope he don't succeed. That ain't your God. That is not your God, brothers and sisters. Let's go to Psalms 46, and we got three more. Felt like this was one we really needed, because one thing we talk about through the week is our problems Man, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, our right. stresses and what we're worried about. Right. Very seldom are we talking book. Right. We're talking about what we're going through, right. what's worrying us. Was bothering us. Shouldn't be. Psalm 46, verse 1. What does it read, my brother? God is our refuge and strength, a very pr present help in trouble. A present help. That's right mm -hmm. now, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Therefore, will not we fear. Yes, sir. Though the earth be removed. Yes, the earth be taken clean out the map. And though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea. Yes, sir. Though the waters thereof roar and be troubled. Uh-huh. Though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Go ahead. Skip down to verse 7. The Lord of hosts is with us. The Lord of hosts is with who? With us. Regardless of what's going on, you're supposed to remember that. Right. The Lord is with us. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Yes, sir. Uh, and he is our saving place. Is, Regardless right. of what's going on, you're supposed to know where your safe place is. That is right. That's your safe place. Jesus. Let's go to 2 Samuel 22. We should never forget the benefits of serving our God, brothers and sisters. That's what keeps our mind where it needs to be. 2 Samuel 22, and pick it up at verse 1. This is David speaking, but the Spirit of the Lord was up on him, so it's the Lord speaking through him. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, my brother, 22 and 1. And David spake unto the Lord the words of this song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all his enemies uh -huh. and out of the hand of Saul. Uh-huh, and we saw how that thing played out with David and Saul. Mm-hmm. Saul constantly trying to kill the man, and the Lord kept putting him in situations where he could have got killed. Right. Go ahead. And he said, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. Yes, sir. The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my high tower and my refuge, my savior, thou savest me from violence. Yes, sir. And he does that for all his servants. Mm -hmm. God got to be that for all of us. Right. All of us. Right. Go ahead. I will call on the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Yes, sir. So shall I be saved from mine enemy. So shall I be saved from my enemy by calling on the Lord? That's right. Yes. Go ahead. When the waves of death compassed me, uh -huh. the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. What make us afraid? The wicked right. to this day. Uh -huh. The wicked spook us. Mm -hmm. Cats coming in the room, pants down to their knees, pistols in their drawers. You like, man, what he finna do? Mm. <laughs> I got to watch this cat. Mm. No, you don't. You ain't got to watch him. Right. Go ahead. The sorrows of hell compass me about. The sorrows of hell. Hey, I, life is hell to a lot of us. It I is. hear people say, I, I'm catching hell around here. It is, bro. 
Go ahead. The snares of death prevented me. Uh-huh. In my distress, I called upon the Lord. In our distress, we better do this. Uh-huh. Go ahead. And cried to my God. Uh-huh. And he did hear my voice out of his temple. Yes, sir. And my cry did enter into his ear. Because David was yes, a sir. servant of God. Praise God, bro. And when you're a servant of God, he do hear you. To the wicked, this don't apply to you. You can flip your book clothes right. and walk out there if you, you want to. But I don't think nobody going to do that because we all striving for perfection. Yes, sir. And this is what he promised us. Mm -hmm. This is what he promised us, brothers and sisters. Let's go to Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter. I said this earlier. Man, the Lord had this laid out for us even when he gave us the law. Deuteronomy, the fourth chapter, we're going to pick it up at verse four. It was as simple as all we had to do was serve God. Right. Serve God. Deuteronomy 4 and verse 4, when you get there, my brother, you can go ahead and feed us. But ye that did cleave unto the Lord your God are alive every one of you this day. Yes, sir. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord my God commanded me, that ye should do so in the land whither so whither ye go to possess. What were they supposed to do when they got in the land? Keep the commandments. Mm -hmm. That's all they was asked to do. Right. Keep the commandments. Go ahead. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Uh -huh. We shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Uh-huh. Just because we kept the law, they're going right. to say them some smart folks over right. there. Go ahead. For what nation is there so great uh -huh. who have God so nigh unto them? Man, look how close God is to them. Mm -hmm. They just keep the law and he take care of them. If we just showed that, brothers, and that's all you got to show, even right now. All you got to do is keep the law. We be trying to study different things in here. All you got to do is show them that you a law keeper. Right. And show them that because you are a law keeper, God is taking care of you, and that's going to make you the smartest person in the building all the time. Right. We were trying to study. I got to show them the two mountains of brass, because these brothers, I got, I'm going to get them with this one. No, you ain't. <laughs> show them your walk. Right. That's Jesus. all you got to show them. Jesus. And then show them you and God's relationship, how you calling on your God, and your God answer you when you call just because you keep the law. Everybody going to want that. We out here trying to pass out pamphlets. We trying to do all this extra stuff when all you got to do is show a walk. That's all you got to do. Show them how you live. Why do you think everybody want to be like the rappers? Because the rappers show everybody how they live. Show them how you live. Show them the benefits of what it do when you keep the law and you walking in the commandments. And everybody going to want it. Jeez, bro. That's the easiest way to do it, brothers and sisters, the way he had it laid out. Mm -hmm. Point blank, period. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Middle of seven. As the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him they for. Want, they want to see that. Right. Imagine if you get real law keepers that show this. Man, that brother asked for a new house, and he, the Lord blessed him with a house. He asked for a promotion. The Lord blessed him with a promotion. Brother, what are you doing? I ain't keeping the commandments. What else? Nothing. For real? What church you go to? Come on to the IOG. That's all it take, y'all. How many of y'all go to work and people say, it's something different about you. It's something special about you. Mm -hmm. I, saw, I noticed that when you're in class, you have your head covering on, sister. Or when you're in a break room, you got your head covered and you're not eating no pork. And it seemed like everything's just going well for you. What church do you go to? <laughs> all because they're seeing your walk and your relationship with God, brothers and sisters. You ain't doing nothing extra but being an obedient servant. Jesus. And that's all it takes. That's all it takes. That's all it takes. Where we at, Jay? Isaiah 26. Last place, Isaiah 26, brothers and sisters. I hope this lesson was some comfort to us. Was, Get man. our minds right. Praise the Lord. Isaiah 26, and we're going to pick it up at verse 3. Isaiah 26 and verse 3. We're going to sum the whole matter up right here, Jay Lewis. Mm -hmm. 26 and 3. Go ahead, my brother. Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee. Why? Because he trusted in thee. Y'all catch that? Yes, sir. That's the sum, the whole lesson up right there. Lord, keep you in perfect, perfect peace when your mind is just focused on him. Mm -hmm. That's all you got to do. Right. Focus on him. 
Go ahead, brother. Trust ye in the Lord forever. Sometime. Forever. All the time, brothers and sisters. Go ahead. For in the Lord Jehovah is everlasting strength. You better believe that, brothers and sisters. Yes, Let your heart be not troubled. Thank you for your time in Jesus' name. Yes, and now we're